one. I should hey, be live. yo. Welcome to One of World of Hunger Heat. And the ads. Somebody's little video game. Okay, there we go. We're all set now. How are you doing? <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to the wonderful world of Hunger Heat. I'm not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a degree from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. Only thing I love more than cooking is my wife, is a warden. Together we host all the Friday Night Feast, which is what you're watching right now. We got a big dish set up for y'all tonight. Mm -hmm. What are we? Got these this morning. We're doing smothered steaks. Yeah. So I opened up a uh, three pound thing of meat and gave us both our own patties. We're doing eight ounce burger patties. We're going to fry them up in a skillet. Then I'm going to slide them over into the oven to keep them warm while I make a mushroom gravy. Oh, and we need to make the rice, which is still in the fridge. Well, that will be in the microwave, yeah. right? We're going to nucrify it. We got some. If you have an Aldi, we're trying the garlic collie rice from Aldi. It's $1.89 a package, so you'll get to see if it's worth it. And, oh, sorry. I was originally thinking about doing like a mashed cauliflower to do this because we're going to put gravy on the burger and gravy on that. So I figured we can do it all over it. And we're like, well, why? Rice would go good with this, too. Mm -hmm. And it's already done for us. And it will cook up easily in the, I mean, the uh, microwave. Yeah. And then she has, that's a whole onion, right? Right. So this is, well, it's a small, I, we think white, but it might be yellow onion. It's one of those it's two. It's a yellow. It's a yellow. Yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow. yellow. It's a yellow. It's an onion. One small onion, julienne. Yeah. And then a whole eight ounce package of whole mushrooms that I sliced. And then I got a little bit of uh, asparagus. I'm going to bake and wrap here in a minute throwing the air fryer as a side mm -hmm. dish. Too. And salt, pepper, bacon. So one of the questions I put up, y'all, is oops. Oh, let me just kind of put that because we'll have to move this forward. All that in a minute, though. Okay. Um, do you prefer a do you do you call it smothered steak or hamburger steak where because i think it's regional to what you call it so what do you call it? i've always called it smothered steak Me too. i heard it called a hamburger steak ever mm -mm. but you know at salt brass they have it on their menu and they have one just hamburger because my mother always ordered it which well, is funny because she's didn't like you know didn't want to order a hamburger to me it's not much different. right it's bunless. but they would they have a, a traditional smothered steak or you get southwest which is with cheddar cheese Ooh. bell peppers and onions oh wow okay so I'm, what do you call it where you're at and Oh, there we are. We're back now. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, it looks a little paler, doesn't it? Yeah, because you told Let's me to turn see. the light off. Let me see here. All right, should be back up now, Shauna. Okay, let me know. We should be back, and then let me check something here. Let me adjust that, because there we go. Oof. All right. So we I already got my skillet going. I know it's hard to see until we kind of can move it a little closer to us. And okay, Let's see here. Okay, back, but it's kind of blurry. Okay, so as I'm saying, I should probably turn the light back on then. Okay, try turning the light on and double check if that's on the five. Well, it should be, or this one. No How's that? 
It looks good. Okay. Is that better, y'all? I mean, it looks good over here. Oh, okay, good. Thank you, Shauna. All right. Well, let's um what what did you need to do first? We need to season these burgers. Oh, we got let's season. We our beef rub, y'all. I love this beef rub. You know what I'll do though? Do it over this. The fall always will fall on the skillet. Okay. I so it's hard for me to see. I feel like it. Let me see if I can do this a little better, y'all. He hates when I do this. No, I don't hate it. I just, it's dangerous. It's crumping up everywhere. I know. We should have blitzed it. Yeah, I don't want it, though. Uh -huh. Can you push it in there if I put it on here? Yeah, I'm just trying not to muddy up my hands. So I still got to handle this stuff over here to get the blank bacon out. Yeah. I'm going to just rub it all in there. Because what it is, y'all, we use the uh, brown sugar in this. Or the, what is the Swerve brown sugar? And it cakes up and it makes it very difficult to do this. Yeah. We, like she said, we should have blitzed it first. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put a little more salt on it. Yeah. Well. well we oh, I guess I have it. to have this open. Right. Oh, okay. Well, well, go ahead. All right. Then we do the other side as well. All right. Put some salt there. And I see Craft Crazy was here earlier mm -hmm. and said, this looks neat. Cannot wait to watch the replay. Uh -huh. Oh, well, thank you all so much for watching the replay. We really appreciate that. Oh, yeah. I see the steam coming off this. I think it's yeah. ready. Stick one in there. Trying to get all the way to the edge. We'll get the other one in there too. These right. are eight ounce. Actually, they're a little over eight. They're eight point one ounces. It would be better to stand up. Right? Please. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Hold on. There we go. Awesome. And we're just going to sear these off. And then we'll be starting on the gravy. I absolutely, what do you need? Open that up. I absolutely love uh, smothered steak. It's just such a good comfort meal. Yeah, I already separated it. You like how I did that? Yeah. All right. Now, this bacon, it's called the Jamestown bacon, and it is irregular cuts. I ain't kidding either. Right. And it's usually super thin. <laughs> what I like to do is take two or three of them apart, pick them apart, and then line it with it so it kind of holds it together. Anyway. Oh, okay. Shauna said, hey, y'all. Okay, have to run live. Aaron, out of the house, I shall return. And you might already be back, Shauna. That's been. And I see Carrie's here. He said, the food in the trailer is so good, isn't it? Y'all make some incredible meals. And this past week, I mean, every day I've been drooling. It's amazing. I ain't kidding about it being no regular. Right. And 811 days of no coffee or caffeine. And then he said, I went to try to tip to donate platelets, and my iron was really low. I went and got an iron supplement and going to try this and the foods. Okay. Well, good, good for luck. you. Good luck. L Strange said, oh, man, that looks delicious. I'm cooking dinner for the kids. Just got off of work. I will sit down and relax with you guys shortly. Oh, I hope so. You deserve to have a nice relaxing need. It's Friday. It's relax. Okay. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. Take two of the other and uh, slide them on me. So then I can I can go handle stuff over there without getting bacon everywhere. Yeah. 
And then after I load those, I can uh, take my gloves off. So I'm going to go put these in the air fryer. Okay. Are you turning the air fryer on now? Well, I'll turn it when you tell me to. I okay. think we have to upside down. Right? Oh. Yeah. Yes, I'm double gloved for my protection. Huh? Huh? I didn't say anything. Oh, gosh. It's already smelling great, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna flip these. Oh, yeah. See, it's already got the nice little crusty bits on there. Mmm, that smells so good. All right. Uh, how was everybody's Friday today, y'all? I <laughs> Oh, was it? Yeah. I went, uh, I've been back at work yesterday and today. And um, yeah, I feel like, is it good? Is this in a good spot? Yeah, no, it needs to be Yeah, no. Yeah. It's like half cut. Hold on. There, that's a little better. You want to move it some more? Or you good? And I was, yeah, because that's why I said wait, because I'm going to get rid of this. You have to learn to listen to me. Huh? There is a method to the madness. There is. I've known him long enough. There's not. Uh, but yeah, I went back to work yesterday and today. And my, um, ooh, sorry, y'all. My manager basically had me doing like a special project yesterday and today. And I was just killing all. I was just getting those things out. Everybody was stunned at how fast I was going. I was like, bam, 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 bam. I gotta miss, I gotta make up. Uh Tweet TQ Cat said, Hi Shelly Heath and all of you crazy, wonderful people. How crazy will it be tonight? I don't know. I did take um, I'm still taking a little bit of medicine, y'all. So if I'm loopy, we're gonna blame it on that. Lynette's here. Hey, Mama Bear said good evening. I can't wait to see this recipe is made. It really looks like something my son and I would enjoy. I am really surprised you haven't already made it, Lynette. It is, I to me, this is comfort food. Kate said, hello, everyone. Hi, hello, Shelly and Heath. Looking Hi. forward to a nice visit tonight. Hi. Welcome back, Kate. How are you doing? Oh, thank you, Scott. She said, picture and sound working well. He's hand working great. Rickwood's here. Hey, Rickwood. She goes, Hi, folks. Happy Friday. Friday. Well, how are you doing? And sure, she goes, Be home in a minute. Ooh, what you doing now? Rickwood said, Are you admitting that you're killing steaks? I, I mean, kind of. I'm smothering them. But can't, do you? in order to smother something does that mean oh i, I don't think you're supposed to say that word anymore smother no the ki word yeah because it's no longer alive it's the way they get it work uh, but i assure you so with these are we going medium well or uh i go usually meet medium but uh, i don't check the temp on it or just gonna look at it no because i it in the in the in the uh, gravy for a bit. Okay. Ooh, well. Here, let me turn this around. Well, this we, turn to, uh, warm. That one's still pretty pink. It's like all pink on this one side. So I'm just turning a little bit. Because, you know, the the little thing doesn't always work right. Sharon said, in the truck on my phone. Oh, well, thanks for your dedication, Sharon. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Shada said, I was watching a cooking show and the chef was yelling, Chef, Mitt, Mike, I need your ready to the microwave to cook rice. Ah. I like that. Call the microwave. Ah. 
That is hilarious. That is. I love it. When, Patty's here. Hey, Patty, how you doing? Put that, uh, rice in. Oh, it yeah. probably only takes like five. I figure once we're done with the gravy mm -hmm. and we're ready okay. uh, for that. And I saw uh, Steph said hello to Shauna. Hello, mm -hmm. Steph. Uh, let's see. And, and is he ready for us to come here? Like, Sharon, have you let him know that we will be invading next year? <laughs> Okay, Lynette's always called it smothered steak. Shada calls it, I call it no mushroom, please. <laughs> this is a very mushroom heavy meal, but see, there is the alternative, the Southwest style with the cheddar cheese, onions, and bell peppers. That sounds more like a Shada. Yeah. We can do that pretty soon, too. <laughs> Twinty Q Cat good. said, smothered steak in my neck of the woods in Indiana. Well, Indiana, I, Texas. I think the internet's wrong. Uh, Shauna said, I'm not sure out here. We call it hamburger steak. So California oh. says hamburger. Okay. That makes sense. I, I was telling you earlier, Hold the mushrooms. I've never heard it called that before. I, right? Kate said, my mom always said hamburger steak. Okay. Hmm. And I like that. And, and she's in Louisiana. Wow. That part of your family. Okay. I'm trying to remember what my mother, I feel like she always called it smothered steak, or I just decided that's what I named it. Sharon said, almost home, be back in a bit. Awesome. And Rickwood said, we used to have a Greek restaurant that was hamburger steak. You can add gravy. The owner would come out and hand make Greek salad for the tables with handmade dressing. So good. Oh, Ooh, wow. that, sounds awesome. that sounds really good. Oh, Mama Bear Lynette said, ooh, I love that beef rub. It is so delicious. Shauna said, use a knife and mush it up. That's what I do. Oh, right. That's true for the, the sauce. Okay, that was good. You know. We're just putting in another skillet to hold it warm while we on the gravy. Oops. So I'm going to start by adding the mushrooms. Let that saute down a bit. I watched a very interesting video of this guy, Nate Lebowski. I know he's in Texas. He's in Austin. But anyway, he was talking all about onions. I learned so much about onions I did not know before. I was like really impressed. Okay, and then, uh huh. Pepper, right? Yeah. You want to do it? Where's the pepper? Right there. Oh, uh, go ahead. Or you want to do it? Sure. All right. Okay, that's that's great. Red salt, y'all. And some fresh cracked pepper. We'll just saute this for a couple minutes. Let it start breaking down. And that's the part I learned about too today is this is when the onions really put off because it's breaking down. I'm not going to remember what the chemical is called in the onions that as you cook it, it breaks it down. It's basically the... The part of the onion that if you try to eat a raw onion where you're kind of get that, oh, uh, that little thing that's kind of supposed to persuade you not to eat the raw onion, you know, but when you cook it, it releases that and it makes that wonderful aroma that we love. Really right. It was just a really interesting video. I, I I could probably link it later if you need me to. Shauna said, I'm curious, what is the difference between a hamburger and a steak? The bun. <laughs> so basically, a, a
there. Hopefully we are back now. I am sorry about that. So what I learned today is Salisbury steak, a lot of you know, has like a brown gravy. But the difference is Dr. Salisbury during the Civil War is who made Salisbury steak. And what the generally to make a Salisbury steak is you make it like a meatloaf, like you put breadcrumbs and egg and you form the patties and then you cook it and have the brown gravy, and mushroom gravy on it versus a smothered or hamburger steak is actually from the Germans. So when Germans came over, they start introducing this quick, easy, cheap meal. And it's just a basic burger patty. So you just usually season it with um, salted pepper, sometimes onion and garlic, uh, and which, you know, that's basically our beef rub. And then you have it also smothered with a mushroom brown gravy, right? Uh, the other thing is Salisbury steak often will incorporate Worcestershire sauce and, and Dijon mustard, whereas a hamburger steak, you generally, you're going to keep it very simple. So just a very simple burger patty and then your gravy on top and that's it. But great question. Um. But that's basically it. Uh, Rickwood said a bunch of barbecue videos have been showing up in my timeline. Armadillo, oh, Armadillo Pepper Barbecue and Meat Street Barbecue. Some good recipes. Oh, is it? No, Meat Church is the one that yeah. you've listened to. Uh, what tippers are paying on? Well, this is on Max because it's the... Uh, hot plate. The hot plate, you know. I normally, when I cook this on the stove... I cook it at a medium heat. I don't prefer to cook on high heat. I prefer a medium heat, y'all. Not unless we're boiling water. Right. And, some, and usually like even medium low. Thank you. And then uh, Mom Bear Lynette said, Shelly, are you guys ready for these horrible storms we're supposed to get tomorrow? Um, I didn't know anything about them, honestly. Are your sweet babies going to freak out over the thunder? Ours? Never really do. No, Sam and Delilah don't care about storms, really. I mean, that one that came that night that they did move where we had really bad thunder, but normally they're just like, whatever. Um, I Honestly, I don't know. We never watch the news or anything, and I just... When you work from home all the time, I just never really look at the weather. The only time I ever look is when I plan on cooking that day. Uh, uh, whatever day I'm trying to cook that, you know, I want to barbecue and cook outside, I always check the weather first. I'm just going to add uh, this about three tablespoons of butter. I like a, a nice fatty gravy, y'all. I don't want to waste that, that butter. But I guess I should check and see if the when that storm's supposed to hit because you know I plan on go to the store tomorrow. I gotta work tomorrow, so I hope I don't really knock it down. Oh right. All right, and I got my pepper going. Ugh. Nice. I love fresh cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. We'll just give this a couple minutes for those mushrooms to start cooking down and they'll release some more water and then we'll be able to add our broth. Now, I've used a chicken broth because that's what I already have open. Yeah, this is like maybe a quarter of the container left. Right. I would much prefer beef, beef broth, but we yeah. have the chicken open, so I use what I have. Shauna said, I thought Friday would never get here again. Oh, Aww. I'm sorry. 22Q Cat said, pretty soon Heath is going to need a GoFundMe for all those gloves he's wearing. I already have that, honestly. I got to work around for that. Shauna said, okay, Heath, it's too early for a snarky chef. Tell her that, then. She's the one cooking. Brenda F. is here. Hey, hey Brenda. She said, good evening. How are you doing? 
Mama Bear Lynette said, are you using 80-20 ground beef or what was the fat percentage? Maybe you said it earlier. Oh, that's a great question. It is the 80-20. Sure. It it's is. the Kroger log of the 80-20 that was marked down to 297 a pound. Yeah, I'm sure you got some. So it was uh, 897 for the the three pound log. I guess it was 299 a pound. But that's what I grab. And so, it, yeah, it's just an 80-20 mix. I prefer when it comes to burgers and meatloaf and most, most of those, I prefer an 80-20 blend. Now, I know some people prefer to, yeah, here, he's going to show you. <laughs> like I said, it's a three-pound log. And I'll be, and I'm thawing this out because I'm going to use it tomorrow to make a fatty. In fact, I'm going to throw it in a sink to make sure it thaws. I thought you were making it Sunday. Well, I know, but I want to make sure it thaws. Okay. But, uh, ooh, this is coming along so well. well. All right. I'm doing it Sunday. I can pull it up and do this tomorrow. Yeah. All right. This is looking good. There's a good amount of fat in here. So I'm just going to add... Some of this. So we're not going to have like a rich, deep brown gravy because I'm using the chicken broth. I should make some beef gravy. I've got all the stuff to do it. Okay. And I just want to let that reduce down. And I got another little home cooked pro tip for y'all. Oh. Well, y'all know how much I love the energy drinks, right? My all rock stars and whatnot. We find this cheapest at um, Sam's. So we order them by the case. What I do when I unbox them <coughs> is I leave the car, the plastic wrapped around it. I leave it on the bottom intact. And I cut it around the top. And I use that that one uh, cardboard to thaw my meat out on in the kit in the um in the, in the other fridge in the garage. That nice. way, if it does leak, it just gets in all in that. So right. It's not all in my garage. Uh, the, 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 um, what's your deal? The, in the refrigerator. That's where I was going with that. Rick Wood said, Shelly, do we better since having to deal with Xfinity to get a 5G modem installed in the house? You would think it would be easy. No, not with their customer help desk. Right. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, I love the way she sorry. Customer help does not customer service. It was a lack of service. Right. What is, I'm trying to think of what uh, Clark Howard calls it, the customer no help line. Yeah. Something like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Mm, this smells so good. Lori's here. Hey. hey, Lori. She said, hey, hey, friends. How are you? Shada said, I do smothered as onions, cheese, some kind of gravy. If I could, no peppers. Okay, oh. well, there you go. That sounds good. Carrie said, does anyone here know why I might not be absorbing? I know there are already doctors. Hope everyone's, I don't know, Carrie. I, I, honestly, you're going to have to ask a doctor on, on that. Are you going to use any more of this or are you still debating? I'm still debating. Um. Toy Tiki Cat said, you could probably put gravy on dirt and I'd eat it. Wow. <laughs> gravy is such a wonderful comfort food. That is how I feel. Like, gravy is so delicious, right? Um, I, I, I mean, just cook this up and eat it, right? See, like, pre-keto, I would always well, buy Except the, for the mushrooms for you. I'd buy the, the Pioneer gravy mix. Oh, yeah. I mean, the first, Pioneer? Especially for the white gravy. Oh, know, my gosh. Pre gravy stuff. I can turn that on easily. Anytime I bought the, the little packets to make a brown gravy, I can never get it right. Oh, yeah. That Pioneer gravy, that used to be my favorite white gravy, was the Pioneer peppered gravy. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my gosh, that stuff was incredible. Air Fried Auntie said, laugh out loud at Shelly. Her mouth says, oh, that's great. Her eyes speak in another language. Right? <laughs> That's crazy too because Sean uh, has a decoder ring for that. <laughs> right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
Okay, thank you, Shauna. She let them know when we were working on our internet issues. Radical Geek is here. Hey, Matreya. She goes, hi, all. How are you doing? Shauna said, we're currently being zapped. But we're back, right? There we go. Yay. And then Sharon said, okay, truck unloaded and back in the house. You know awesome. We're gonna need, you know we're gonna need to give them huh. a spoon to serve all us with. Well, yeah. Tweet TQ Cat said, here's our history lesson for the day. Why, thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Do you want to lend or no? No, no. I'm, okay. I'm letting it reduce Best down. Um, but, yes. I Well, I just thought that was such a cool information. Actually, what had happened was, I asked her last night what the difference was. <laughs> And I woke up this morning with a, with a, uh, a dissertation from her. <laughs> well, you ask. Yeah. I provide. Don't ask the nerd. <laughs> so, yes, he asked, and, and I was like, okay, well, let's see. What is the difference? So she asked the Googles. Yes. And then I got deep into a rabbit hole of all about Salisbury steak and hamburger steak and all those things. Lisa said, I'm watching for the beginning at two times speed. I'll catch up soon. Oh, oh goodness. How fast do I sound? And she said, that beef rub will make a shoe taste good. Oh, wow. Thank, thank you. you. you said that? Lisa. Oh, you're so sweet. I have a buddy. Hey, hey Sidovia. How have you been? She said, half a day. Half a day. She make good, sure I say it correctly. Good Saturday morning, Horn. Half a day. Oh, I'm glad you're I back. Love in the future. Uh, right? Let's see. Uh, Carrie said, I can tell they got the ground beef from Kroger, right? Well, yeah, because it says Kroger run on it. Uh, Tweety Q Cat said, I wish I'd gotten in, that, in on that 80 20 ground beef Kroger sale. Yeah, I know. You have to. When I see things like that, you know, honestly, they tend to do that about every other month. Is what I've noticed. Almost every other month, they'll have a two ninety nine sale on their ground beef. I'm not as into. Let me know if anybody else does this. Who in here tracks the prices of their groceries over time? Like, do you know? Okay, in uh, May of twenty three, I paid X amount for ground beef and X amount. I never do that. I don't have, much, I don't have that much free time. But I uh, apparently people do. There are a couple of channels that I've watched, and they will be like, "Oh, well, back in May of 2023, this is how much it was, and then May of 21, it was this about." I'm like, "Okay, you need yeah. better hobbies." <laughs> I was just like, you need "Well, to find better content for your channel." Well, no, people, I guess, like their content. Obviously. I'm not going to say that. But I'm just like, oh, I just don't keep track. I mean, it's cool that they keep track of it. Then I'm kind of like, oh, yeah. okay. Um, uh, and, like, I watched one today from oh, Under the Median. Funny. And they went back to Aldi. And after 18 months, a year and a half, to see what the prices of the same items or similar items that they bought back then, what they are today, and the difference in a year and a half was 10%. Okay, my thing is, does it matter? Because you're going to pay for it anyways, no matter what the price is. But you, I mean, okay, if there's one staple, you like that with them, if they're always eating lettuce, if it changes, are you going to stop eating that lettuce? So I'm saying, so what does it matter? That's what I don't understand. Well, I I'm think not trying to shame them or whatever, but I, just, I don't understand the, the, the point. Well, okay, so I think the point that... Some people, well, I'm not going to get into all of the politics and all of that stuff, but some people do it in order to see, okay, like, you know, two years ago, $20 bought you this amount of groceries, mm -hmm. but will that $20 still buy that same amount now? I already know it won't. Right. Well, it was 10% difference. Right. To me, that's not 10%. So $2 difference. They've spent $20 back a year and a half ago. And today it was 22 and some change. I'm like, that That seems about right. 10% a year and a half, that seems about right. Mm -hmm. But I also, like, I think that's the difference, too, when I shop. And I know this is how Mama Bear Lynette shops versus maybe other people. Because, like you mentioned, well, if it's a staple, I'm always buying that staple. Yeah. But I feel like the majority of what we buy 
is determined by what is on sale. Yes. So I can't go and say, oh, well, a year ago I spent this because a year ago I got the Rayos at discount at Kroger for $2 a jar. Oh. And, the same with my eggs. Yeah. If they're never on sale, we're still going to buy them. Right. And that, That's well, insane. right. Exactly. Just when they go on sale, it's a bonus. Right. And then exactly. we stock up. Right. Exactly. But, you know, that's just something that, you know, people keep track of. But I think a lot of it, it's hard to compare yeah. because, like, a lot of the stuff she was buying, I was like, okay, well, I guess if you were just wanting staples. But to me, if I was like, okay, I only have $20 for groceries this week. What am I going to buy? I'm going to look for the best deal for my money Thank and not necessarily, well, this can is now 98 cents, but I got to get it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would be like, okay, well, what else can I get? Right. I think this is pretty good looking here. So. Let me go start on the asparagus then? Start on the asparagus, uh, but only five minutes and then flip. You got to set a timer because you can't yeah. dial that one in. And then I'll need the hamburger patties back after okay. that. Set your timer. I am. All right. Are you going to put the patties back in there? Yes, no? Yeah. Um. L. Strange said, laugh out loud, I am multitasking. I'm listening at two times speed and studying my Japanese. Oh, my goodness. Are we in Japanese? That is that is something. L. Strange said, Shelly sounds like she's feeling better. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I do feel much better. I think what happened is um, back, so I was feeling like really crummy, right? And so what I did is, on um i tried to sleep on tuesday y'all the first day i called out i worked monday and i just started feeling miserable and i tried to work oh. you're putting it in there right yeah and then we can put some of that gratin in here too take this and uh -huh. i'll hold it up and you scrape it oh. okay cool I know this is fascinating for y'all to watch this. Right? Video. Okay. That's that's good. Thank you, babe. Look okay. at the lid, though. Yeah, you probably oh, put, put it, it back on over, there. There. over there. Okay. I'm just going to kind of cover this up. Kind of. Oh! Ouch, that's hot. Don't touch that heat. I like to really soak it in. So, no more? Nah, I think we're good. Soaking in all of these yummy juices, and we're just gonna let that continue to Marinate. simmer you away. Put the lid on it. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, put the lid on. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, Lisa said we always called them Salisbury steak. Oh. Wow. Well, now now we know the difference, right? Ooh, bad apples here. Right. She goes, "Hey, yo, horde." Happy Friday. Hey, Renee, how are howdy, you doing? Howdy, howdy. How's your week been? <laughs> well, you know, also, uh, Lisa saying how she always called it that, but there's lots of things in Texas we do wrong. Right. Some of my biggest peeves is water burger. Their yeah. breakfast tacos, they call them taquitos. That's not a taquito. Or how we would call a pig in a blanket. We call them a kolache. That is not a kolache. In the truest form, kolache has fruit. It's actually called a kolbaselec. Because you've been conditioned. It's kolache. Which you can't find kolaches outside of Texas. Well, you the last place I got them, the furthest away was Shreveport. Uh -huh. Which probably because they get a lot of Texans. Yeah. But after that... Couldn't find them anymore. I, it just It's disappointing. I mean, now it doesn't matter. But used to on a road trip, yeah. that was like our go-to breakfast. Yes. Now it don't matter. Um, Brenda said, I'm interested in a good gravy recipe. Oh, well, I hope you try. As you see, I don't really use any thickeners. I try to let it like a natural gravy. Now, what we could do at the end, if it's not quite 
thick enough. With, I have some cold butter, and cold butter is usually good to add at the last minute to kind of thicken a sauce. So I try to do it that way and try to stay clear of like uh, xanthan gum and uh, gelatin because sometimes those can make a gravy more feel like a, a glob. Yeah, a glob, but I don't like that. All right. It's almost like gelatinous. Yeah. Everybody say hello back and no, forth. Back That's day, awesome. She would have added like plain white flour to that to thicken it. Well, yeah. Well, no, usually not. This is not how I've the, always made not for it. Brown gravy? Yeah, okay, okay. not for my uh, smothered steak. Okay. I've never added awesome. flour because I, I. This is how I've always done mm -hmm. it. <laughs> uh, Rickwood said all the no help desk has to do is go into their network and disable the old modem and insert the new one. It took them. Two and a half hours and two guys. The first guy actually walked off in the middle. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You your yeah, yeah. Oh, it? 20 seconds. Okay. And then just flip them to the other side. Sharon said, uh, new power tool to a toy. Oh, oh, Steph got me a gas powered pressure washer. Oh, wow. This girl is in heaven. Wow, that is nice, Sharon. I would That's love cool. a gas powered pressure washer. When we come visit, I want to see all of her woodworking toy. toys. Toys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are they back in? Back in. I thought you were flipping the asparagus. No, no, you said 20 seconds. I never heard it go off. Oh, I just figured when you got up, I reset it. Wow. Yeah, that is fun to have a gas powered. Wow. Well, next time you visit, come bring it with you. We'll see what we have to fuck we do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you get on the airplane with that. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right. And Rickwood said, keep your eyes out at the grocery stores, big lots, and goodwill. They show up on sale. Oh, nice. And, what? and Goodwill. Goodwill goes on sale? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I know that. That's cool. Shauna said, yeah, no, that's too much ma mathing for me. Too much? Too much mathing. Oh. Uh, and then she said, Push, I can't remember how much my ground beef was yesterday. Right. I'm like, well, obviously, like what channel, I, which I don't follow anymore because I, I don't like when and I get it that it's part of the YouTube algorithm. They want you to do this, right? But they want those like negative or scary or um, like uh, taunting clickbaity titles. And this one guy just all of, or this one channel, I should say, all of his were always these scare tactics. And it just is like, I... Yeah, everything's doom and gloom all the time. And I, I'm sorry. I just, when I see that constantly, like one off here and there, it's like, oh, okay. But when it's constantly doom and gloom, like, ah, Kroger's out of control. Or, you know, all these prices are skyrocketing. Or, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh, we can't even afford groceries now. Like, everything. I just am like, okay. All right, take a look. Just, um. I don't recommend this channel because I, I just can't. Usually what I do when I see some kind of a scare tactic type or clickbaity title, I just don't even watch it. Like mm. I've seen some of them like why I'm quitting or why um, I'm not going to be YouTube or why I'm tired of YouTube. And I'm like, I don't. It did, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you're leaving, why, why do I need to invest the time into it? Because you're going to be gone. Right. That's what I, and then, but they never do. Right. Everyone I've seen that has said that, I don't watch the video. And honestly, that's why I never watch the news. I think that's all it is, in my opinion. Is scare tactics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do with Lube. So, yeah. So sometimes I like, uh, but anyways, that gentleman, he had a spreadsheet to keep track of all the prices of stuff. And I'm like, no, I'm not that into it. <laughs> I mean, I know you're a nerd and you like your math, but you're not that far. Not well, nerd. it's because I guess I'm kind of like you, what does it matter what the price of beef was two years ago, five years ago, because I'm still going to buy it now. Yeah. And all that's going to do is make me mad going, yes. ah, two years ago, beef was only $2 a pound and now it's $4 a pound, you know, whatever it is. Like what, 
how's that going to make I mean, anything like different? I mean, one of your favorite TV shows was canceled. Right. So I, I saw him never watching TV again. Right. What? So that's why I'm just kind of like, mm, never mind. It, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, Renee said, it's interesting to see the trends, but ultimately prices are increasing and it's a given. What does other than waste precious time I could do with something I could do something about. Amen. Thank you, Renee. You like read our minds. Thank you, you read our minds, bestie. Exactly. There, I have better things to do with my time, like investing my money, I studying my investment options so that I can then take my current money and make it be worth even better so it doesn't matter if the beef prices go up because my investments are going up even more. But that's me. Brenda said, I have my receipts that are saved online. Walmart, Sam's, and Myers all have a record of my purchases. Oh, oh wow. that's true. My company does the same thing, too, because I've had to go back all the way. Uh, the furthest I've had to go back for customers, I think, 2017. Oh, that took a little, yeah. That took a little bit of work. <laughs> right? Oh, there you go. And then... I might need a glove to pull the lid off. Exactly. Well, and that is that is right. I can look at the Sam's I'm app. Leave the, I'm gonna leave. I turned it off, and I'm, I'm, here, play with that. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh oh. Leave it low. Where do you want me to put this when I take it off? All right. Thank you. Ooh, wow. Oh wow. See good. those? Can they even see it though? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think it helps turning that skillet like that, the whole thing, because it, it displays better for them as well. And I'm just going to turn this down. Oh, now, normally, once I see it's to the thickness, I would like put it on very low or just go ahead and serve it up. But we got a couple minutes here. Um, Patty said, what matters is what it costs me today. Right. Exactly. Like... I want it today, so this is the price, right? Tweet TQ Cat said, oh, heavens no. Ain't no one got time for that. Laugh out loud. Tracking prices that closely for years. I figure the price is just what I have to pay, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm not weird. Because sometimes when I see these, I'm like, really? People are doing this? Because I just, no. But, of course, you know, under the media, and it was easy for her because they made a video. So you could just go and rewatch the video, right? Uh, Bob Berlinette said, yep, all the meat in my freezer is the discounted meat. It's not based on what I needed to purchase. It's based on what was on sale that day when I was at the store. Exactly. And that can always change. Brenda F. said, I can't wait to meet in person. I know, me either. Less than 11 months now. You know what we ought to do? Huh? We start an actual timer. A, a, a countdown? Yes. The final countdown. Because now you don't want to start on that rice. Oh, that's right. Sorry, right. I'll walk away. That's okay. I've got this down on the lowest setting. Yeah, I know put it in here. Where the L Strange said, do you all have a video on the fatty? No, I've never done one on video. Oh, well, then we got to record it now. So thank you for reminding us, Lisa. I didn't know if he had planned on recording it and showed the ingredients. I know, but I'm showing them the display first. And that's the thing I did too before I went and got this. Because usually we buy these bags at uh, HEB. Oh, I'm trying to find it. Okay. And so I went into the story because on there, on the, on the Aldi app, you can't really read these. Yeah, the Aldi app isn't good about showing ingredients. Is that good? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, what, okay, I couldn't read the instructions. Okay. So, microwave. Because, uh, Do not puncture or open. Uh, massage package to break apart. That's what I just did. Okay. And evenly massaging. distribute. Microwave on high for four to five minutes and let stand for one minute. Bag will be hot, so be careful. Oh, here I go. How long? Four to five. All right, we'll do four. I'll do it. You know what I'll do? Four, four, four. There you go. Feel like I, when I make her coffee, I just heat up the water in there and I do it for three, three, three. For some reason, doing it uh, like that. You know what? There's already a plate in here, so I'm just going to heat it on the plate. Okay. No, I'm not either. I have to plate I'm going to use tonight. 
All right. Radical Geek said, but it helps with future budgeting and planning because if you know you have an annual spend increase of 7 to 10%, maybe you'll have to make changes. It allows you to determine where to make them. Oh, well, that is true. Yeah, if you are... Um, it's like the same thing with gas. You're going to have to buy your gas anyway. Well, she said, but when it comes to budgeting, if you know, okay, prices are increasing about 10%, right. then what are you going to make the change and that's yeah. why we switched to mint mobile right <laughs> i just i'm just sorry yeah. y'all a lot of people i watch are sponsored by mint mobile and just in the middle they'll have some way that they talk about right <laughs> we're not sponsored though not yet i gotta talk to ryan about that though <laughs> but uh we do have a link which does help the channel if you are considering switching to mint mobile um they they are amazing i and really I like them. going to reach out to several different meat manufacturers or like even yeah. the meat council or whatever the meat council or whatever and see if they'll sponsor us we're gonna say we know oh man that looks good thank you brenda you know what i really really want though uh-uh i want it well you got them, uh whenever we played it i want to make sure there's like some like um uh Ooh. mustard uh, mustard uh mushrooms right on top of the steak well yeah, yeah. that's that's how i put the gravy baby yeah. Just oh, like the one I made you. That's the picture. Yeah. That's the that picture on our thumbnail. That's the last time I made it. Uh Renee said, run cold water over your hand, Heath. Oh yeah, that'd work. Well, when we go to serve it. Yeah. If your hand is your hand still hurting or no, no, no. I just said, let me know it was hot. Because the, the oven wasn't really on. Ours has a warm setting. Oh. And that's what I did to hold those warm. Yeah. Uh, Rickman said, being older than dirt, I have seen groceries go up and down and up again in price. A lot is the way we resource food nowadays. The yes. industrial farms have driven out the smaller farmers, Correct. right? That is true. But thank you for that tip, Renee. Thanks. They control the pricing and delivery of what we eat. They also have problems with losing lots of things like chickens to diseases because they're so big. Yes. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. And, and, and that makes sense. Bad Apple said, also when people call it water burger, yes. or, or what water burger. Okay. Do people Look. say water burger? Okay, here's the thing. Water here's the thing about that. I don't know if any of y'all know it or not. Water burger. Years ago, I used to work at Water Burger. I worked the we call it the early bird shift. I worked 11 at night till 7 in the morning. And I actually had a guy come through the drive through and ask me, did we really put water in our burgers? Seriously. Well, she said she spelled it what like what a W H U T E R burger. Wow. Well, there's what's also your, one I can't remember. What's your I want to say Alabama, but there's a copycat one out there, and it's spelled what hyphen a hyphen burger. I don't know if they're still around, but they were for years, several years. I don't know mm -hmm. if they they went out or not. Uh, my bear Lynette said, I agree with Heath regarding the kolache issue. I'd never heard pigs in a blanket called that until I moved to Texas. Well, yeah. and, and see, that's I just grew up. That's what I've heard here okay. being in Texas. Well, the thing of it is we have a huge uh, Czech um, population here in Texas, and there's the ones that brought it over. Yeah. Well, it's Czech and German, but... The true name of the true definition of a kolache is fruit. Do you look it up? So that's why I'm telling you it's wrong that we call okay. it that. I'm just saying. My bear Lynette said, I frequently have to thicken my sauces. I like just using a couple tablespoons of keto chow. Oh, yeah, you can use keto chow. That's one way of doing it. Patty said, We have a large Czech population near us and they. Make kolaches, particularly at the yearly Czech festival. Uh -huh. Ooh, and but I bet those fruit? are so good. Aren't they fruit? Mary T said, hi, all. I'm late again. Love smothered steak. Yum. How's everyone this fine evening? We're hey, Mary T. How, How are you? Here? We miss you. Oh, here we go. Uh, according, uh, Lisa said, according to Alexa, Salisbury steak is pounded steak, breaded and fried. I've never seen. I've never seen it that way. Not a never hamburger. seen it breaded and no, fried. That's, I've just seen that with chicken and pork. Breaded and fried is usually just chicken fried, chicken steak. fried steak. Yeah, but they use um, steak. 
Smothered steak is also pounded and covered with sauce. Oh, well. Well, Alexa, I'm sorry. You need to educate yourself because right. I went to somebody who talked all about the history. So <laughs> I've never heard of a breaded and fried Salisbury steak, though. I don't either. That seems weird. Radical Geek said, what? Where is the other one? Right here. Radical Geek said, we get kolaches in Ohio. We have lots of Czech and Slavic people. But okay, but Retreya, is it correct? Am I correct? Ask the Googles. Uh, we know you're technically correct. And then you're supposed to let it sit for a minute. Uh, but are your kolaches, are they just fruit? Sharon said, okay, Heath, you can have a full tour of their tools. Nice. Do you want to get the um, the plates and then go ahead and get the what's your doodle? Yeah. The spare gas. Uh, El Strange said, I'm all caught up. You're talking slower. Oh, am I out, talking slow? <laughs> I want to know though, do I sound like really fast when you're on when I'm on two times? Because I tried to listen to that. I know you do that most of the time. When I tried to do that, I'm like, I don't know, some of the people's voices, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. And then uh yeah, so then are we gonna we're gonna put the rice down and then the burger patty on top, right? Yeah. See, I wish this would just stay on a nice low. Right. Well, do you want me to put it on the low on the actual stove? No, no, no. We're done. We're ready to plate. Carrie said, I wish I could have the winter back again. 85 in the house. I can't afford to run the AC. Glad right. I have a tub to dump myself in to keep cool. I mean, that's uh, what I had growing up, too. We just you know had what you to need to do. You need to befriend a rancher and go hop in their, uh, the water tank. Right? You want the gloves? Um, the skizzers. I need skizzers. But, well, I used yeah. to have a teacher that would say that. He said, uh, I, I have to say scissors because I, I have to say scissors because I can't say scissors. Uh, really? That's what he would say. Well. <sighs> Well, that's what which school district was that? Deer Park. Well, that explains a lot. Ooh, this looks really good, y'all. Uh, Carrie, oh, yeah, I read that one. Sorry. And Barely Begun is here. He hey, said, bro. Hey, yo, all, how are you doing? How are you doing, brother? You dump the whole thing. Or do oh. you think we're going to have leftovers? Because if we are, I'm going to grab a container to put them in. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to get one just in case. I'm going to put it back. That looks really pretty. This is the first time we've ever gotten their Kali rice before. Has anybody else had the Aldi Kali rice? Okay, that's good. What do you think? Is that enough rice for you, or do you want yeah, more? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect, actually. That is? Okay. Yeah. Here. You want to put ready? the whole thing in there? Just drop the whole thing. Oh. No, no, here. Well, I'm, I'm just pour it off then. I'm sorry. That's why I was giving you this, so you could pour it. Oh, it's gonna be good. That stuff I made today would go good over this. Did you get it out of that corner? I guess it don't matter. What now? There was set, like a whole little glob stuck in the corner, but that's okay. It's yeah, one. it's flattened now, see? Okay. Trust the fat kid with the food. Um, you want to get me the cold butter out, please? Oh, we only have one stick left. Oh. In this fridge. Yeah. And there's more down below. And then mm. where's our knives and forks here? Right over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. And then I got mine over here. And I'm just going to use my spoon to clean the rest of this off. I'm just going to put a couple of these whole pats of butter. And then we still need this. No, and we don't need, oh. We what did I do? The butter. No, it just like shook the whole laptop. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Right. 
Okay, well, if you're done with that, you're tightening everything up, I can get that out of the way, too. Yeah. That's true. Mmm. Yeah, there, I turned it off. I unplug it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here, I got an idea. Okay. You're going to grab this. Uh huh. And I'm going to lift this up. And set it back down on top of that. Okay. There you go. go, go, go. Oh, you're dry. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, but now you're holding it. Thank you. I'll be back. Okay, and then I'm just moving this a little more. Now I'm turning the light off in here. Yeah, now you can. Well, just where the light switch is at, it's, it's easier to leave the light on for a little while. And you moved my spoon. I did? Yeah, what do you want me to get this out with? Oh, 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 that. Yeah, but, but. <laughs> Do we still want this towel? It's up to you. I don't think we need it. See, I think that turned out plenty thick. Yeah. And not having to, are you what, the, not on the towel? Hmm. No, I don't know. Ugh. No, go ahead. Right. I'm going to wait. I'll fill it whenever we're going to move this. There we go. You know what's missing, honestly? It feels kind of weird. We don't have it. What? A side salad. I know. <laughs> or we stuffies, finished our side salad. Or some stuffies. Right? Now, see, if you would have had to go get dog food yesterday, you would have, uh, you could have went and got it. So. I don't have to get dog food until the second. And that's what I'm saying. If you were going to go. That's what I was trying to say. Oops. You want another one, too, or are you good? And we're done with this too, then, right? Yeah. So, all these things we wash. Let's see. I mean, this looks amazing, you know? Do you want to move that too? This? Or, yeah. Well, here. No, no, no. Not yet. I'm excited on that. I love that sound. Oh. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Sorry, y'all. There. No, that's why. Okay. Mmm. What? You can put it on there. Oh my goodness. There's yours. In case you want to show my. Oh, there's only two spoons in here. Right. I got spoons over there. Oh, okay. Do we need this spoon? The spoon? No, no. Are you still drinking them? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't notice it's way over there. Well, I was trying to get it out of the way. Oh, so you don't want the towel? No, 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 no. It served its purpose. All it's right. Here's our way. dinner. So we've got some asparagus here, bacon wrapped, and then our smothered steak. Party. And these awesome plates from Renee. You're right? so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oof. Sorry. You see? I oh, okay. Um, Patty said, I hate the clickbait titles. I know. But for some reason, know. YouTube wants us to do those, though. Yeah. they Or they say, if you have, like, a sad face. Or a, the or, thumbnail. Or or, yeah, or a bad face or <sighs> basically everything we don't do, they tell us we need to do. Right. I don't know why we're not to make members. <laughs> right. I mean, probably. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 you know what I thought of? Uh -oh. I we have this. What yeah. is it? I'll show you. It'll go good tonight when we get rid of this. Find up for just you and me tonight. That coleslaw I made. Oh, you can have it. That's how much she loves it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That is good. This gravy. Mmm. Sorry, fellas. Girl, uh, the, the dogs can have this. 
Oh my goodness. Because there's onions in that. Well, and there's still some in there. Oh, there's two pieces. Oh my god, I love them. I know. Mary T said, I'm with you, Shelly. I always say I'm fundamentally lazy, and it takes way more energy to be negative than positive. Right. I, and it does seem that way, right? But well, I used to listen to this one radio show all the time. I took two of them on AM radio, and I stopped because I just found myself angry all the time. I was like, this, this is not conducive to my well-being. I need to get rid of this. Right. And I think that's part of the reason we really don't watch the news either. I just don't want to be like sad or mad or whatever. Everything's going to be what it's going to be. And Sharon said, yep, no clickbait. And I don't really watch the news either. Oh, we'll see. That's why I, when I do check the weather. I check it on my phone. I don't watch the weather channel or you know, the mm -hmm. news. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Oh my gosh. That is good. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is why I love smothered steak mm -hmm. because the like the steak just absorbs all of those wonderful juices from the gravy. And what I love too, there's no filler on this. It's just burger. That's mm -hmm. it. Right, exactly. That makes me so bad when you go to get like Something that should just be ground beef, and they put all kinds of fillers in it. Um, Rickwood said, I don't care for all the negativity. I'm like you, Shelly. I'm going to buy it nonetheless. I do look for things on sale, but sometimes specials pop up that aren't great but are worth investing in. Right. And sometimes you just have to, like, think of, oh, okay, is that really what I, I want, you know? Or... I think also part of it is like when it comes to fruits and vegetables, because I would see the one channel that was just like, you can't even buy vegetables. And he's looking at all the vegetables that are high because they're out of season. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, does he not understand that when it comes to produce, it's seasonal. So yeah, that's why, you know, uh, for a couple weekends, I was getting asparagus for like 99 cents or dollar 49 a pound because they were in season and then but then some of the things that i like are no longer in season so they're a lot higher so i'm not gonna buy them i'm right. gonna wait uh tweet tt cat said i just ate dinner what did you have but i sure like some of that deliciousness you got in that skillet right well you're welcome to come on over and have some Mary T said, y'all know some of the crazy prices I pay for some things, like my $60 a pound butter, but if I want it, I want it. I don't said exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, it just comes down to what is it you want? And I, um, you know, like the Ramit said, he says, you know, your rich life, pick one of the things you enjoy. And I was like, one of the things that what I feel like we're having our rich life, right? When the cars are paid off and things like that. Then I'm like, I, mine would be going to the grocery store and buying what I want and not looking at the price. To me, that's like just buying what I want. Right. Would be fun. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, Rickwood's cheeseburger salad today. That sounds so good. Mary T said, your supper looks so good. My kind of comfort food. Yeah, this is mine too. Like, it, it, you saw how quick and easy it was, even on this live, and which takes longer, right? But, it does, just setting up and everything. Right, but, and chit-chatting. But, you know, it's just such an easy meal. And really, when you think about it, this is on on average a pretty reasonable price. So the hamburger again, two ninety nine a pound, and we did use a pound of it because mm -hmm. you did eight ounce patties. So that three dollars, and then the rice was a dollar eighty nine. But there's three servings, mm -hmm. so a third of that would be rough, or two thirds rather would be roughly a dollar mm -hmm. thirty. So a dollar thirty plus three, we're up to four thirty. The asparagus was 99 cents, but I've gotten lots of uses out of it. So we'll just we'll just throw in there and say 20 cents. 
So what are we up to? $4.50. The two slices of bacon. This was the cheap bacon that was $2 a pound. So probably another 25 cents. And then your onions and mushrooms and the butter. So all together, I would say, what were we at? $4.75. So $5 for to feed two people. Right. That's two fifty a person. That's pretty inexpensive for. I mean, look, we're getting good, nutritious food here. We got the asparagus, which is an amazing prebiotic. We've got our fatty bacon, our eighty twenty beef, which we kept all those juices and fats. And that's part of the gravy. And then the collard rice. You're getting another vegetable in there, and your seasonings, and then your mushrooms and onions. I mean. So that's what I did this morning or last night. I got really, I thawed out that whole three pounds. There's a little part of it that was still frozen, a little, a little one little corner of it. Yeah. But I broke off what we needed for tonight. I threw the rest of it along with some seasoning in the instant pot and cooked it. And that was my lunch for today. Mm -hmm. And then I divided the leftovers off into two more containers. She had a bowl for lunch. I'm going to have another bowl tomorrow. And then it was like a couple of nights ago, we had a whole bunch of mushrooms and onions and bell peppers and stuff she sauteed for me. Mm -hmm. And I added that to it as well. Yeah. those uh, I got a, a three-pack of bell peppers for 99 cents. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, used some of that. And I've also fermented some of that. So... <laughs> this is really good. Radical Geek said, funny with the Mint Mobile line. <laughs> That's how you know you watch a lot of YouTube, right? right? <laughs> Patty said, I always cook my frozen collie rice on the stove top. I like the taste better than the microwave. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think that's, a, I'm sure, a much better option. But my we were favorite, just being lazy. My favorite thing, too, when Shelly does cook it on the stove, she almost makes it like a Mexican style. And it, to me, it's amazing. I love it. Because before, we weren't that big a fan. Whether the chef friend of ours we know locally, she was trying to do some meal prep stuff. And we were, when we first started keto, we were buying stuff from her. But one, it was overpriced and we were still hungry afterwards. So we mm -hmm. like, no, we got to figure this out. Right. Uh, Renee said, boyfriend works with a guy who raises ducks. Oh, nice. So I'm getting fresh duck eggs. That's awesome. You are so lucky. That's amazing. That's, a, that's an amazing uh, perk. Mm-hmm. My bear Lynette said, all right, y'all. It's been a great day, but I'm very busy one. I'm completely exhausted. Good night. I'm hitting the hay a little earlier than usual. I look forward to watching this on the replay. Good night, Mama Bear Lynette. And then good morning, Mama Bear Lynette. Welcome. I hope you had a good rest. Um, I hope Jesse likes that new chair. You see that we're supposed to? Oh, yeah. That's a nice chair. I want one, too. Oh, I know. Renee said, yes, that knockoff Whataburger is still there, Heath. What a burger. Mm -hmm. What a burger, right? Mm -hmm. well, I sure love that though. The guy actually asked if we actually put water in our burgers. Well, that, that seems about right. Do you know how to read? <laughs> no. But the um, story though. Uh -huh. We were on the, uh, we faced the, the we were, uh, our location was also in the front part of a, uh, a shopping center. But it was right on the main thoroughfare through Alvin there, Highway 35. It's a freeway, but it's a one-way road. One guy left the uh, drive uh, the drive through and turned the wrong way because he was drunk. Oh. Turned the wrong way going out of that uh, out of there. That was scary. Mm-hmm. Shawna said, no kolache here. No. But y'all didn't have like a kolache factory or nothing like that in those places? Bad apple. Here you go. Here, this is what you always think. Renee doesn't agree with you. She said, Club, uh, Club, Club of Snacks versus Kalachis. Mm -hmm. So, see, y'all are agreement there. And Patty said, Yes, he they are fruit. Uh huh. Sharon said, That would be cube steak breaded and fried, right? Which to me is chicken fried steak, right? I mean, that's how I've always done my chicken fried steak, is usually cube steak 
Bread it, fry it. Well, that's what I was going to brag about you too. The first thing she ever cooked for me, y'all, was chicken <laughs> fried steak, mashed potatoes, and cream gravy and uh, green beans. But she made it all from scratch. Mm. She even made the mashed potatoes from scratch. Because most people, especially back then, would we just use you know, the powdered box stuff or whatever. She made all that from scratch. That was the very first thing she ever cooked me. I don't know why I fell in love with her. Mm, I don't know either. I'm just so good to you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I know how to catch this one. Mm. Renee said, Bob was Polish, grandparents from Lithuania and Slovenia. Wow. Mm -hmm. Have you been to either any of those, Poland, Lithuania, and Slovenia? Uh, Radical Geek said, I mean, technically, yes, kolaches are fruit based, but U.S. Fusion Melty Pot Society has added savory ones. Thank you, Matreya. Thank you. You understand that, yes, if we're going to get technical about different things, that's what this is. That's what that Fine. is. But we're in America. This if is we American take... fusion, so I'm calling this pizza. That's the same logic. No, it isn't because pizza's already been determined what pizza is. So has kolaches. No, it's because, because you change it doesn't mean it's okay now. But I didn't change it. It was a general consistency. Just like, did you all know? That the word, oh, what did I tell you? Uh -huh. What was the word? I don't remember now, honestly. Eggs. <laughs> I got too excited about that. So eggs. Why do we call it eggs? Well, back in middle um, medieval times, there was actually, because, you know, the only people who traveled generally were merchants, right? So in different parts of medieval Europe, they, uh, in English speaking, some would call it as, which was the French derivative of eggs. And then others in like uh, mostly the UK would call it eggs. And they started doing that. Well, one day I went to another place where they used the French word and he said uh, eggs and the person just didn't know. She could not grasp what he was asking for. And somebody had to interpret and say, oh, he's is and he and so then it just so happened that this guy oh what was his name again i forgot again but this gentleman had at the time oh, a God. printing press so here we go because he had the printing press he wrote an article saying as or eggs and then said you know what should we call these chicken baby chickens in a, you know that are still in their shell that we'd love to eat what should we call them and he made the statement i suggest we all call them eggs and he printed it this was not a mass consensus or anything like this guy that's what happened he printed it and because he had a printing press and that article went all over then everybody started calling it eggs. Nice. And there are several other words that he did that to, but I thought that was so interesting that that's why we as English speakers call them eggs. We might have had a different name for them if it wasn't for that gentleman that just said, I think we should call them eggs. And everybody agreed with them, basically. <laughs> and so... I mean, got ask for <laughs> so here we go. Matreya is right. We're in a melting pot. And then as a melting pot, we come together and kind of said, no, this is what we're going to call kolaches. Or this is what we're going to call these now are kolaches. And then that's anybody in Texas, if you say kolache, they're going to yeah, assume yeah, yeah. you mean a meat or pigs in a blanket, similar right. thing. Uh, Shada said, uh, tell he to me, move that big gray cup. It keeps, uh, oh, you keep putting it in front of you and you disappear. Not there. No, that way. There you go. Perfect. Well, I have to pull it here so I can drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's basically... <laughs> Common, the meat-filled kolaches 
generally you could do a sausage so, uh, usually a so a leek sausage i have seen the patty sausages and mm -hmm. there's also ham i've also seen bacon oh yeah and mm -hmm. then what you do is you then wrap dough around it completely now i know usually pigs in a blanket you see the the oh. meat through it but at a kolache it's you don't see the sausage inside it's kind of like ooh, what's inside that pretty little um kind of like a twinky shape you yeah. know that oblong puffy bread and it's like ooh, what's inside and then when you open it inside is the meat right that's the kolache that we are familiar with now the czechoslovakian kolache is a fruit field and a lot of them it's that same kind of puffy dough not not a fi phyllo dough Pastry. just the way they do it it kind of puffs and then they put the fruit in the middle mm -hmm. but you can see the fruit on all the ones i've seen you right. see the fruit it's on not, there it's so not it's not like hidden inside, yeah. yeah it's not hidden it's just like a nice little puffy bread kind of a square shaped and then they put the fruit in the middle and a lot of times they'll do like fruit the cheese in the middle but you see it so it's you know really what fruit too. the uh the little gas station in front of the neighborhood they sell kolaches there too and their bacon one is the bacon's draped over the pastry mm -hmm. Tweety, to you cat said anything planned for your dessert tonight any keto chow fudge left oh sure a little bit like three or four pieces yeah. Somebody needs to make another batch. Yes. I'll get that tomorrow at HEB as well. Nice. And Mary T said, of course, I don't eat any of it anymore, but we have a huge Russian Dukabor population mm -hmm. here. Amazing pierogies, right. forced bread, and other carb-laden things. Ooh. That sounds good. I think it was the other one, like um, huh? some of the bread items we used to eat all the time. Go to like specialty restaurants to get them and stuff too. Oh, what? I can't remember where it is now, man. Hmm. Only other big one really was the cornbread. <laughs> yeah. Hold on one second. Who are you talking to? Renee, I was, remember she was, she just let me know. Um, that now that's better where you have it oh okay okay but yeah she said this was really quick i think it went together very well and then oh patty says she buys the aldi collie rice often okay. Okay. oh good no, honestly this is the first time we ever tried it yeah this is our first time because usually we get the one at um heb and they're usually like two or three dollars mm-hmm and every once in a while, they'll run a sale where you buy like five or whatever, you get a, day, a deal on it. Right. Yeah. I, that's the one thing is I do like HEB will do every once in a while on their frozen veggies. They'll be like buy $10 worth and get $2 off, something like that. They always, they always Another thing they do a lot of times, they call it their combo loco. And you'll buy this, this, and that. You buy like three items mm -hmm. and you get like five other ones for free. Mm-hmm. Brenda said, I've never been a fan of cauliflower, so I've not tried it rice. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I mean, well, if you're not. The, the first few times we did have it, we weren't fans either. But then she figured out how to cook it. Stupid fly. Yeah. Um, but I don't know because um, I don't want you to try something if you really don't care you're for right. cauliflower. Why, is it going to change just because it's rice? Probably right. not. Does she need to go out? Uh, probably. Or that is waiting on a plate. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you want to open the door? No. Yeah, he's getting on the couch. Come here. Well, this, this lamp scares him. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Baby. He ain't going to go. Ah, uh, you were. I don't know why we get fries. We just open the door 500 times in a day. Oh, I know. We kind of have to. We got dogs. Sharon said, I love cauliflower. Rice steamed any way, any way it cooked or even raw. Raw? Oh, wow. Yeah, raw. Like on a crudite. That is mm. so good. 
Uh, Radical Geek said, I like grated cauliflower, but I like cauliflower florets too. Ooh, grated. That would be good. Um, see? For the keto, I never liked it. No, you didn't. I didn't like both vegetables, honestly. Hmm. You need to go outside? What are you doing? He just you want to go out? out? He just ran here, just bolted in. You want to go out? What's going on, brother? Come here. Sammy, come here. You can walk over here. You're okay. Delilah will do it. She ain't scared. This is her house. Shadi says she likes to dry cook her frozen collie in a nine stick with a little bit of coconut oil oh. and seasoning, almost like toasting it. Wow, that sounds really good, too. Well, I was telling her how I was thinking about doing like a uh, mashed cauliflower, almost like you, and you want it for the night. So the way I like to do it is buy a fresh head of cauliflower, chop it up, and then roast it in the oven with some uh, garlic and stuff, too. And then mash it and everything, and like in the food processor. But she's like, you know what? This bag is going to be even cheaper. <laughs> well, no, it, it, it wouldn't have, You could... Well, yeah, it was a little bit yeah. cheaper, but I mean, it, the other would have been cheaper in the long run because we could have got all different kinds of ways, but I said, let's do all that. That's fine. Especially now, if it makes it a little harder on Fridays, too, mm -hmm. because I mean, we're already tired from working much. all week. Right. And, you know, I just, I haven't felt good this week, and we even went out to eat, what, twice? I think I feel like twice, and yeah, I was just ugh, not feeling the best. Uh, Renee says I do like cauliflower, but it seems like the last few times I ate it, made your tummy ache. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Renee. That's weird. Lisa says she gets the head of cauliflower grated in the food processor for collie rice. I don't know if I'm saving money. I pretend I am. Overall, you really are. All right, y'all. Wish me luck. Look what happened. How am I going to drink that? That's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Shauna says, I find the more cauliflower bits I have all over to clean up, the less I like it. And I think that's the problem when you do the the grated, like when you grate it yourself. Yes. I feel like it just goes everywhere. That's why I like doing it in the that uh, the machine. Well, well, right in the, but even in the food processor, that's why you always do it like on a towel because you end up getting it. Right. But overall, it is cheaper to get the head of cauliflower and do it yourself because that was just a twelve ounce bag. You know, you're getting a lot more than that off of a whole head of cauliflower. Because what does she say? Fresh is best. Um, mm -hmm. Sharon said, we get the cauliflower rice at Costco quick and easy. Oh, okay. We don't have Costco membership anymore. But I guess I did think about looking at Sam's. They probably have something similar. Well, I think part of the reason we don't do that also is so far out of the way. It's in a little bit of a trek sometimes because that's where I get my uh, Vazivia. But there's probably maybe four Sam's within like 30, 35 minutes from us. But only this one in Umble actually carries a 24 pack of this. The other ones all carry a 30 pack. This is weird. No, they, I thought the others didn't carry it either at all. At all? I thought at that's all. where I was getting the 30 pack was the one in the, in the Shenandoah. No, oh. they had stopped. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Renee said, I bet quantity. Quality is good, though. Good, too. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, I don't remember. Sorry. Uh, Lisa, Dave, that is a beauty close up. Thank you. A what? Beauty close up of a close up. Oh. And then Brenda F said, Yummy. And Sharon said, That looks tasty. And Radical Geek said, Looks good. And Shada said, yum. And Renee said, yum. And Rickwood said, that looks very good. Thank y'all. Y'all are awesome. 
Radical Geek said, I just want to say I appreciate all of you and look forward to seeing you Sunday. Going to make a semi-creole snapper. Oh. I'll probably fall asleep soon. First mini event for Sakaya Khan tomorrow. Oh, fun. Well, thank you, Matreya. We appreciate you. And I'm excited to see what you, how you do the snapper because we just had, we had seafood three times this week, y'all. So one restaurant. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll just remind me. We went to uh, actually one of our favorites, and we were even talking about it, about how that is one restaurant that has always been consistent, mm -hmm. and we always walk away happy. And it's Good Company Fish Camp. It's pricey, though. But we were, like we were talking, we were like, you know, the past couple times we've gone out, and and the food's just mediocre at other places. Like we always kind of walk away and like, I don't know if it was really worth it. But so maybe the extra expense, it just seems like overall it's better. Because we also like the, uh, the Mexican one. The Good Mexican. Company. Oh, yeah, Cantina. yeah, we do. Yeah, the Catina. The same company owns it. But... Um, uh, yeah, we just get really good, consistent service at Good Company Fish Camp. Quality and service, yeah. Yeah, and we ordered, I got the halibut because I was excited after seeing uh, Radical Geek and posted what, a picture of hers a couple days. So I got the halibut. And you'll see a picture of her meal and mine on Sunday. Yeah, and then you got the mahi-mahi. Uh -huh. And what then... What do they call it, though? Ahead, fish so good we named it twice no 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 the the the, the, the boat? boat boat fish what yeah they call, they call it? it boat fish yeah um and then so we had that tuesday wednesday i made the wild snapper so i'm excited to see matreya's wild snapper yes. that sounds really good because we just used our seafood seasoning on it and then last night we also had wild salmon and I also used our seafood seasoning. So, like, three nights in a row, we had seafood, y'all. Like, yeah. really. No I think, regrets. No, I think really good quality fish that we had each night. And then we have we have two packages of shrimp and a thing of crab legs in the freezer still, too. Sharon said, take lots of pics. Right. Oh, and we have one more. We have, what, two more fillets of salmon in there, too. I think. Yeah, we have uh, one more meal of salmon. And, it, and I was thinking, well, tomorrow, see, our, our cheap grocery week keeps getting bigger. Uh, I was like, if I see the wild salmon, because uh, it's two pounds yeah. of wild salmon at Aldi for $9.99. Okay. I'm like, if they have it, I, I might get that again. Because I was pleased with it. That's what I'm saying before. I mean, uh, Joe said it before, too. When it's on sale, it's time to buy it. Well, it's not that it's on sale there. It's it's their limited time. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know if they still have it. But, and I never know because when, you know, sometimes when you buy frozen fish, mm -hmm. you never know what the quality actually is. So I didn't want to go and spend 40 bucks right, and then too. we have it and we're right. like, ugh. But now we've had it and I think it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mary T said, laugh aloud, just got a letter from the government a year ago when I applied for old age, there was a cluster F worked out. Letter says you applied since you applied twice at 23. We deny second app tax dollars at work. What? Okay. That's weird. Very L Strange said, did y'all ever eat Swiss steak? I always no. love making that. Nowadays, I use the tomato keto chow. What is, I've never, never even heard of Swiss steak. I'm what is it? it? I guess some kind of tomato steak. Renee said, they are totally nasty, dirty, but I know the reason. But boyfriend was appalled when he opened the carton. Opened what? What did I miss? Yeah, I'm sorry. We missed something there. I don't know, or she's talking to somebody else. What are, what are you talking about, Renee? That sounds gross. Lisa said, are y'all making kolaches with fathead dough? Yum. We have, we have done it. Yeah, we have. I, I don't know. Do we have a video? Yeah, Shout out we've, or... even done, we've even done one where we used the sliced ham on it. Okay. Um, we've done one live, too. Okay, if, if Shada or, or Renee wants to link it. But yeah, we've done it before. Um, I've done it different ways, um, you know, because sometimes I like to finish it with some, like, sesame seeds. 
Because haven't we also done it with the, uh, the Purnell's breakfast sausage? The patties. Oh, the duck eggs. Oh, now what did she say again? Boyfriend was appalled when he opened the carton. Oh. Why? What was it? Because all of the duck eggs were nasty and dirty. Oh, good. Wait, That's nature. It, it's how an egg actually looks, right? right? Shada said, mm, I just put one of those skinnies Baja Margarita mixes in my iced tea. Ooh, that sounds good. You know what you're telling, Renee? It's on Farm Fresh. Right? That's how you know it's real. Right? No no hiding that, right? Right, right, right. Uh, okay. Oh, Renee, you haven't been to any of those places. Any what places? Well, then you, where her family's from. Oh, okay. You need to. Wouldn't yeah. that be fun? Let's go. Shauna said, why do we call it eggs? Did I hear that right? Yes. Yes, it's all about how we ended up calling it eggs. Toy TQ Cat said, you're cracking me up, Shelly. Is there going to be a test at the end of the night about this stuff? <laughs> I mean, there's always a test when... <laughs> in fact the grades will come out next year during our trip she's gonna hand out report cards <laughs> yeah. i'll be hand delivering report cards to everybody <laughs> and if we need to we'll have a uh, parent teacher meetings <laughs> lynn's gonna be like i'll tell you who's your effing parent <laughs> Mary T said, my cat has been in the same spot in the field for three hours hunting moles. Oh, wow. Hubby saw her with one and went to get it, thought she'd let it go, but then he found the stash. Three in a pile, she's still there. Wow. What a good kitty. Look Dang. at her. She's like, uh-uh, I'm stocking up. She knows why we hired her for sure, and she leaves my birds alone. Oh, that's awesome. Well, good kitty. Look at everybody. Shada and Renee's praising the kitty cat. Shada said, oh, so that started the power of the press. Wrong or right? Or wait, that wasn't the point. <laughs> and, but apparently, uh, wherever I heard this, they said that that's how a lot of uh, words became. It's just because somebody decided to write down. You're and like, hey, you know what? And everybody just started copying that person. Like nobody wrote it. Like it was no government decision anywhere. Just what somebody decided that had some type of influence over other people. And, right. Um, Shana said, okay, so not a pocket, but it's open in the middle. What? 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 No, no, I'm sorry. So the kolache, the meat kolache, it's what? Show them pictures. Oh yeah, it's completely uh, covered, and then but when you open it, I was saying when you tear it open, then you see it. Because I mean, if only had, we had one device, you know, like the internet. Or Not Kalachi Factory. Uh, well, because it's uh, automatically do that because that's like topical for around here. Although of all the Kalachi places, that's probably on the bottom of my list, honestly. Yeah. Oh, um, those type of places. I always like the mom and pop places. I'm trying. Everybody wants to show cut open now. Mm -hmm. Well, here's one that's kind of like it. But yeah, we do have a. I believe we have a video. Well, you know what? That's what we need to make one pretty soon. Oh, are you good, or do you still want the picture? We'll just post it for everybody, not just for her, and then show her the picture of the other ones. Show them the difference. Yeah. So let me now share screen, select, share. All right, here we go. See, it's all, it's all covered. Oh, look, all these stupid pop-ups. Mm -hmm. And I think, I guess you, well, because you're on YouTube, you can't, but you need my ad block. <laughs> Look at that. But see, it, they're completely covered. I don't know why this is on here. I'm good. Oh, okay. Awesome. She said, no, she already got a picture. See? Thank you. That's what I said, though. Tell everybody, though. Lisa said, yum, cheese kolaches were my kryptonite. Yes. Oh, I know. But even better, 
I love the jalapeno ones. In fact, when you like went to the uh, when you went into the store, and they were in the display case, and you could see the ones that had the pieces of uh, like uh, the uh, jalapeno rings on it. You can know those. Oh yeah, that's how they would. That was for my favorite, yes. the jalapeno cheese. Yes. Uh, or the other one went to I can't remember the brand the the place that had it, but they had the um oh the football player from here uh um uh, he has that. Earl Campbell sausage. They use his sausages in it, and they're bigger, thicker, juicier sausages. That was one of the I can't remember what, what company it was that used those. I know, I know, I did it on purpose. That's why you're getting all excited about it. <laughs> Anywho, Matreya says, I put fathead dough with allulose honey substitute, oh. glazed on, and then crushed berries, cooked down, and thickened a little would make a decent. Kalachi substitute. Yeah, if you want the fruit kalachi, that no, sounds no, 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 no. good. Just think I heard tell them, if you have all the fermented the strawberry and blueberries and raspberries in there, you just put it in that. I don't have a fermented. Not I fermented have uh, jams. jams. Yeah, that jam. jam. Basically a good. jam. That'd be good in it too. Yeah. We do that style. Lisa said when Mary mentioned moles, oh. I automatically think mole. Does oh, anyone yeah. make a keto mole? Yeah, actually, oh. Matreya has a really good recipe. Yeah. She's you sent it to me before and it's it amazing. Shauna said, no, it still tastes like cauliflower. Mary T said, we grew the best cauliflower I've, I've ever eaten last year. Ooh, I bet that was good. Oh, thank you, Matreya sent, sent the picture to uh Shauna. And Renee said, and I can't help but think of Austin Powers mole. Right. <laughs> Mole, mole, mole. Oh, wow. And Matreya said, yeah, I have a keto mole. Takes what feels like 10 years to make, though. Well, I mean. Really, you know what? We're making it. It kind of reminded me when we made that Bobby Flay uh, uh, sauce that time. Well, couldn't. I mean, is it traditional mole? Does a traditional mole take a while yeah. as well? Hey, Sherry's here. Hey. Said hello, all. Just coming on for a few to say hi. Long day, so probably check out earlier than normal. Right well, on. thanks for stopping by. Yeah. I totally get that, and I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice. So we'll see how much longer we stick around. While we're there, I'm going to start working on lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You already have lunch, the ground beef. I know. That's all I'm going to work on. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Shada wanted to know what is he doing to his can? Oh, here I'll show you. It got dropped, so it got all bent up. So I had to use a can opener to get into it, and that's why I poured it into a cup because it felt weird to drink it that way. Bad Apple said, You guys cut your Costco membership. Yeah, whatever it was. Well, we didn't caught it. We did didn't renew it right we didn't renew it and like when it was due for renewal uh i was, was just no like spend. yeah i was like well now it's not the time for us to do it so um i'll just wait and then if we need to then we'll go do renew it you know when needed do you want any of this no before i eat it all mm -mm, eat it all so i was just like well right now we haven't but we we might do it in the future. We're just seeing right There's now. There's only really a handful of things we get from there. Yeah. So I don't know if we really even need it. That one sausage I really like from there, and and we like their bacon too. Yeah, but we haven't. Um, we haven't. I don't know. It's not a necessity, right? Right. Now. Just like I canceled the Amazon Prime, and here that was back in January, and here it is April. Have we needed it? No. One time. You renewed it one time for, for a what, discount. Yeah. I got it for a week. But other than that, do we need it? And we ended up we didn't need it for that one either, but we did. Um, but yeah. I so I'm just that's how I'm kind of doing it. The same way I'm doing Amazon. I'm like, well, let's just see if we actually need it. And if we don't, then we're good to go, and and so far that we, we saved money, really right? Um, Sherry said, "Shelly, did you get your hair done? It looks great. Oh, thank you. No, I I didn't. Maybe this is just my body healing, and it's starting to look better. Because a Tuesday, I did not look good. 
because we were going to need to figure in too when we do go on that trip. You got to plan that where you can have it done before we go, so you look all on well, the, the road trip. I know it's a year uh, out, but still, we got to plan the whole thing though. Oh, I, I already know that, Heath. But okay. Uh huh. Nothing. Uh, to be some more. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not making fun. I just I know when to get my hair done. Fine, you're not allowed to do it now. How's that? <laughs> I will punch you in you know what. <laughs> my arm? Sure. Sherry said that meal looks super tasty. Thank just you. ran the video back. Thank you so yeah, much, Sherry. You. Brenda yeah. S says, I need some seafood seasoning. Well, look for our email. But yeah, I love our seafood yes. seasoning. It's very it fresh to me. Mary T said, Swiss steak is so good. What well, is I'm, it? I'm gonna have to see what this is. And then, yeah, what meat do you use for it? Is it hamburger meat? I'm or? guessing. Uh, Brenda F said, duck eggs are dirty. <laughs> and then, uh, Renee said, don't wash them till ready to eat. Right. Exactly. Farm and then, fresh. Oh, Renee said, Ireland is higher on my list than Lithuania or Slovenia. Oh, yes. Wow. And hey. especially, so are you like totally in this week from um, Sean Sorry. and Michelle posting all about Ireland? Oh, the photos today, y'all. I was like in love with all of that. Yeah. It was really cool. Oh, you found it. Thank you, Shauna. What is it? She found the brisket kolaches. Okay. Renee oh, yeah. said Shelly is mixing the fruit one description with the meat one. Fruit kolache has it in the middle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I said. Well, it's like, <laughs> it's like a ring almost, and then they stab it in there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lord, here. This is what you get. This is what you get. Lisa says, thicker, juicier sausages. Uh -huh. Yum. Laugh out loud. Well, I started using and, the M word. But I and Sharon's laughing. And Lisa said, blushing. I bet. I bet you are. Tweet to cute cat said, after dark. <laughs> <laughs> all sausage all the time. Oh, God. It's a sausage party. <laughs> They've already made that movie. I know. <laughs> what? Shada said, we had these things called cheese zombies. Picture a soft roll with melted cheese inside. I want to try that in a fat head dough. Yes! A cheese zombie? That sounds fun. Now you're going to go look for it, huh? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to see. Look, I'm trying to spell cheese with the Z uh -huh, because it's zombie. Cheese zombie. Oh. Like grilled cheese. Yeah, it almost looks like. Well, no, look. Look at like this. It's almost like a um, That croissant. looks good. It's like a croissant. Yeah, well, it's not a croissant. It's not layered. It's uh -huh. like a, like imagine a Parker roll with cheese in the middle. Oh. Uh -huh. Melty cheese. That looks amazing. Okay, yeah. How can you keto that? I, I, I mean, we could try the fathead dough. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna let's let's do this. Shada, you are tasked at doing that because that sounds amazing, and I want one. Make it happen, Captain. And Renee said, "Sounds yummy, right?" And Shauna said, "It's some good friends. Mail me some more HEB melty cheese. I mean, that would be the perfect cheese. Did a nice right? little block of it, and then, I mean, you could almost do it. Well, I don't. I was thinking like the stuffle or remember the stuffy thing oh, we have. The stuffler. Yeah. Ooh. But I don't know if you. It would. Uh, that probably too crunchy, right? Probably. Oh." Thank you. Shauna posted a video where they originated. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Something else I could nerd out on and right. tell my husband all about it. Uh-huh. I love when she talks to me. Renee said, I better not cancel my Sam's then, huh? Exactly. <laughs> You'd be in trouble. Or I guess we would be. <laughs> right. We would be the ones in trouble. <laughs> It'd be like like the, the new age way how the parents are doing it nowadays when they ground the kids, they turn off the Wi-Fi. Right. Bad as she'll turn off the, the subscription. She's like, you're no longer on it. Yeah, you're cut <laughs> off. You're grounded. Right? 
Sharon said, Amazon is a required luxury for us here in nowhere land. Right. <laughs> well, and I think that that does make a difference, right? Like yeah. we can, we have so many options here. We really are privileged yeah. because there's just so much you can do here and so many different stores and everything else. Sorry, I like the stack. I know it's weird, but, but I am simply amused. Yeah. Oh, Renee has a hair appointment tomorrow. Ooh, what are you going to have done? Melissa K. Hey, hey said Costco is the one I couldn't do without. The gas alone makes it worth it. Yeah. I have the executive membership of the credit card, so really they pay oh. me to shop there. Okay. Right? Well, see, we did have the executive membership. Isn't that the one? It's 120 a year. Um, well, like, I've seen these things before on uh, Facebook. We're like, okay, you have ten thousand dollars, two hours to spend it. Where are you going to go? What store are you going to? Costco. I said Costco, and I'll order a, a, a cruise or plane ticket to somewhere or something like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll order a vacation from them, right? stock up on some stuff. That'd be an easy one to do, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, we have the executive membership. I was just I'm looking at little things we can save on to where mm -hmm. I have to factor out. Mm -hmm. And luckily, it's mostly because Renee does allow us to be on, on her Sam's. Yeah. So if we didn't have that, then we might consider the Costco. Which is really cool as you did for us. Thank you, Renee. Because typically, if you go to the store, if you actually go inside, you can't do it until 10 o'clock. Right. But with the uh, the, um, so the plan, you have to have a pickup. I can do it at seven in the morning. They'll pull up and they'll drop it and walk it out to me. Ouch. Sorry. Right. I just think that's amazing. I mean, I, I'm not going for that early, but it's just as cool as you can do that. Yeah. You did still go early. Yeah. Well, the sooner I get there, the sooner I can get back. I have things yeah. to do around that. Yeah. That was awesome when I was working on a lot of trees. Right. And so far lately with gas, again, yeah. there's a lot of options here for yes. gas. And we've been fortunate enough the last few months because we've been shopping at kroger more mm -hmm. that we get the kroger discount which by the time we're taking you know 20 30 40 cents off it's usually a lot cheaper because another thing you do is that one app you use what the flip app or whatever that shows you all the uh, local ads yeah and we're based on where we're going based on the ads right oops okay here we go l strange said cube steak tomato sauce okay and she put keto chow seasoning. What's the sear sauce? Onions in an instant pot. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. So is it? Because that almost sounds a little bit Italian. Well, it I does. guess not. But yeah. so you you don't um, do you sear it or you just basically cook? Like, is it boiled in the tomato sauce? Because there is a there's a thing. Or uh, what is a, it called? Braised? I is it be, braised? I used to be on a Facebook page for the Instant Pot. And these people make everything in their Instant Pot. They even do burgers in there. So I'm wondering if that's like the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, well, it has a tomato sauce. Yeah. So that's why I'm wondering, is it braised? Do you normally, like before the Instant Pot. Yeah. How would you do it? How would you do it? Did you just put it in a deep skillet with the tomato and seasonings and onion and then just put the meat? Or did you do like tonight where you sear the meat first? Well, she's going to have to do. She has to plan a trip to come here and, and we'll buy all the stuff and she's going to teach us how to make it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, make it so. Renee said, I'm thinking just my usual spring, summer, more of my natural blonde high and low lights. Oh, nice. That'll That's be cute. Awesome. And Mary T said, I use cheap steak cut for Swiss steak. Okay. Stew, stew tomatoes. Oh, celery, onions. What's this here on top? Bake covered low and slow. Oh, okay. Because you know what? When we were at, because didn't we get that big can of whole tomatoes mm -hmm. cheap? I think so. It was on the discount. I think so. We got a marked down at Kroger, mm -hmm. like a, the, the big giant, giant mm -hmm. thing of whole stewed tomatoes. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we could just use that to make a marinara. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. it was saying we got that because we're going to be making Swiss steak soon. And then what's, what, uh, uh, what cut of meat are you supposed to use? Mary T says she just uses any cheap steak cut. 
Oh. Okay. Uh, Lisa said chop steak. Okay. Or cube steak, I mean. Okay. Well, because you know how we always find the um, the sirloins like that on sale? So we could use that. Would the sirloin work? <laughs> You'd rather have a hamburger steak, wouldn't you? I would, yeah. That's could fine. you do a hamburger or does it have to be the cube steak? It okay. probably has to be the cube steak. Like you would do for a chicken fried, yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, thank you, Shada. There's the link. And then let me stir that. What do you serve with it, though? Almost like you do tonight. Yeah. What do you do? You just serve it over collie rice. And Shada said, "Warning: This is not a keto recipe." Right. <laughs> Renee said, "I'm going to make a southern breakfast for boyfriend this weekend with tomato gravy, Casey biscuits, and diced spam and eggs." Oh, wow. Wow, that sounds good. I've never had the um, what you call it, the first thing you name off, the uh, tomato gravy. I've not never ever having that. Mm -mm. That 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 sounds good though. Renee said maybe freeze the block of cheese before baking. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Mary T said my grandma made Parker House rolls every Sunday for Sunday dinner. Oh. Wow. Yeah, where, where's all this money from your Parker House rolls, you know? Mm -hmm. You're not that Parker family, oh, huh? Marry the wrong family. You know? right? Obviously. <laughs> Shada said, it's small one-ounce cubes mushed into round. Laugh out loud inside the dough. Oh, so they're, they're not that. It, I thought they were bigger, but they sound like they're smaller. Ooh, is it, it sounds like, you know, she's almost sounds like they're just describing the, uh, the little rolls you would get at the Brazilian place. Remember, they were Right, cheesy. those cheese breads. Yeah. Uh, Renee said, I don't need anything I order from Amazon that quick to pay for a membership. And when I order, I make sure to order enough to get my free shipping. Right. It's, it, see, that's exactly how I am. I just add yeah. the stuff in there until I get to the $35. Well, a lot of times, too, we would go to Amazon first. And then we started figuring out there's actually other places we get it cheaper. Well, actually, that's a common thing because I watched according to Nicole and she says, like at first, when they first started, they did try to really have the cheapest prices because they wanted they wanted to become that name. Mm -hmm. And now that they are, they she said, oftentimes they're not the cheapest. Right that you can, and again, it depends on where you're at, yeah. right? If you're in a remote area, mm -hmm. then yeah, it's, it might be the cheapest for you. But like here, being in a, a very um, populous city, you know, we're the tied third, fourth, or mm -hmm. third and fourth largest city in the US. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a lot of options. Right. And yeah, oftentimes if I'm interested in anything on Amazon, I always, price check on google shop yes. first and that's how i see if there is any any other store that has it cheaper just like you were saying the other day that um uh, aldi is starting to carry the zevias now yeah but it doesn't matter really to us because they're, they're not even, the price isn't any better right if 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 we didn't have sam's right. thanks to renee yeah. then yeah we would de definitely be getting them at that's cheaper aldi and now. kroger and H &B. yeah yeah, because it's an eight pack. Yeah. at Aldi. Yeah, right. the others it's like a six it's, pack. It's, it's, well, yeah. Well, but what I've seen is six, ten, and twelve. Yeah, Shauna said they are opening a Costco in South Napa. It'll be open in October. I still prefer Sam's though. Well, the main the uh, main reason I really like Sam's also is the uh, the um, the scan and go. Oh, okay. She sent me um, a keto child recipe for the Swiss steak. Oh, thanks, Mary. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. That's cool. Renee said, it's a Southern thing made from canned diced tomatoes, heavy cream, and butter, traditionally with the root. But I use keto child tomato basil for the thickening and flavor. Oh, oh, okay. oh that sounds good. Now, do you buy the singles or the big Good night, Sherry. I guess it well it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Um let's see here. Oh, okay. So Mary T said braised. So you're basically braising the meat. Okay, okay. so the instant pot would be a lot faster way of doing that. Right. Okay. So if you're like, you know what, I don't want to go for that hours. How when we make our corned beef, we're braising it. Uh, no, well, steam. Okay. Braised is when you cook the meat 
in a sauce. Oh, okay, my bad. Thank you. Uh, Renee said, I posted it way back when Keto Chow had bags of tomato basil for super cheap. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. El Stray said, oh, yeah, sear and slow. Keto Chow has a recipe on their website, which is what Mary T sent me. Renee said, the recipe I posted doesn't use heavy whipping cream, but I do because I'm bougie like that, uh -huh. and I like a lot of cracked black pepper. Ooh, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Well, and why not have heavy cream? That just seems right. El Stray said, we should have a Swiss steak showdown, right? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Okay. Channel members, oh, yeah. by this Sunday, we I will be sending out the invites and the oh, recipe cards. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be like several cards because it's this, like this, a whole, this month is a booklet. Right. It's not difficult, a, though. It's just pamphlet. there's several pieces, and I feel like be one page recipe long. card, it, it, it'd be too pushed Cluttered. together. So I want it to be very... Almost Very like manageable. a pamphlet, like a three-page, right? Fold out kind of like kind of thing. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna do that, uh -huh. but <laughs> oh, the same. When they print it, they can make them all. Well, yeah, when you print it, do what you want. But yes, so we look at that by the end of day Sunday, and uh, I'm looking forward to this again. Our monthly channel member cook along is the 27th. That's just a week from this Saturday, y'all. Oh my gosh, today is the 19th. I just cannot believe it. I'm telling you. So a week from tomorrow is the channel member cook-along. I just want to make sure everybody knows. Uh, 22 Q Cats said, I have a bunch of the Keto Child tomato basil, and I'm always looking for different ways to use it. I may have to try that. Yeah. Well, another thing you use it for is making the uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah, our barbecue sauce uses the Keto Chow tomato basil. Uh, Renee said, it's one of my faves. I love all things gravy, right? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Lisa said, he also loved a chocolate gravy and biscuits. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Mm. Oh, good night, Sharon. She said, okay, have to get laundry out and folded before bed. All oh, right. darn it. So call it early. Have a great evening. See you Sunday. Night all. all. Right. That's right. What happens on Sunday? Two things. My MS journey, we go live usually around 12.30. And then at 5 p.m. Central, uh, a coffee talk with my crab. Yeah. And so I'm just line up all my drinks here. Uh, oh, Lisa said she didn't like the chocolate gravy too sweet. Right. Yeah. That, uh, to me, when I think of chocolate gravy, I think of it more of a borderline savory chocolate is how mm. i like it okay i don't remember ever having that either i feel like that's something we tried once i don't know rickwood said i've been ordering things from vita cost lately much cheaper than amazon oh i haven't heard of vita cost I mean, renee said cracks me up because at first, y'all said you wouldn't need much at Sam's because y'all love Costco. Now, look at y'all. Well, because of the, the pickup, honestly. <laughs> well, well, you could still do pickup at Costco, too, mm, you know. Yeah. But we didn't have it then, though, remember? Well, we had our... Um, uh -huh. well, we never used it anyway. Well, you know what I think it is? Every time I go into Sam's, I always regret it. <laughs> I didn't regret going into Costco. I enjoyed it. Really? Okay. Yeah, to go shopping at Costco, it just seems more inviting. You sound like Dustin. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he does love Costco too. But Sam's. I told him he needs to get them to sponsor. It seems like every time I go into Sam's, there's screaming kids everywhere. Mm -hmm. I can barely think, and I feel like I have to just hurry out of there. That's true. And so that's why I love the pickup. Right. Because I'm like, well, then that way I don't, you know, just stroll around. Because that's where Costco gets you. Yes. Because they get you because you're just, oh, I came in here for four things. And then you're like, oh, 
Well, now I think I need a three-year supply of batteries. And and, oh, and then the free samples for the food and everything. Right, and all their free samples, yeah. and then everybody's so nice. And then, of course, you're walking, you're like, oh, that looks pretty cool. And then another customer's like, oh, I bought it last weekend. It's the best thing ever. And then you walk out and you spent $400. <laughs> But that one uh, sausage company, we like them. We've always got good deals at, uh, at Costco. The, um, oh, yeah. See, th that's what I mean. There's we, a couple things. We really, really like. Their bacon and the, um, what is the name of that that sausage? Keep going. I'll, I'm thinking about it. Teton. Yeah. Teton. Or Teton. Teton? Teton, because it's Teton. like the... the yeah, okay, Teton. whatever. Teton Water, Teton water yeah. Farms. Yeah. So I really do like miss getting the Tetons yeah. there. But I think it it's just mostly with what I like. And before Sam's introduces, then yeah, like having the curbside pickup, I love that. And the other thing I do love is their scan and go. Yes. Like I would like it if Costco will oh, every store did that. If they will do that. Um, I know it's an issue they had when they did try to roll it out and there were some issues there. So if they can figure out how to do that at Costco, it would be much better. But right now, that is like the number one thing I I do like about Sam's because if I go inside, I can do the scan and go. And to me, that's Christine. just the best thing on um, my meeting today we were talking about me and the boss we're talking about that because he was mad he had to do a uh the only store he was not very he went to the grocery store and the only thing he could do was self-checkout and he had a big old basket full oh yeah it. that would make me mad and then i was like the only thing i only caveat to that and i love it at sam's is a scan and go i said because i'm putting him a buggy anyway so why not just scan it and load it yeah so i mean so because you're that, doing that along. Right, that's different. Going. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the only way. I, the only time I don't mind my self-checkout. That right. Way. Right. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. But yeah, if I had to self-check out a whole grocery, I don't even like to self-check out when I have three items. Right. Because I'm already paying the price in my groceries for a cashier. So I want my full money's <laughs> You can say the same thing I say. I don't work here. Mary T said, love to all. Off to watch Tonight. some trash TV. Have a great weekend, doll. Love, you I too. Love it junk food TV. Right? Renee said, I bought the fire roasted diced tomatoes for it too. Ooh, nice and spicy. Renee said, chocolate gravy. Why not just make the mole? I, oh. I mean, yeah. Tweet to Cat. I didn't know that about your barbecue sauce and the keto chow. Or if I knew, I forgot. Is your recipe anywhere handy? I need to make it. It's only on my channel. Um, yeah, Shauna or Renee, can you link to the tomato sauce or our, our barbecue sauce, please? Thank you. Yeah, see? We, we need to talk about some of our old recipes right. so that we can start... Because, yeah, we've got a lot of new people. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, not everybody likes to go back and watch all the recipes. Patty said, I've never had chocolate gravy. I just I mean, can't imagine it. Right? I feel like I had it somewhere. We probably went out to eat and had it. I Prob it probably. I don't remember making That's it That's usually home. what I do. Right. Well, I mean, I don't remember us making it at home. Oh, and Renee said, well, Sam says lots more keto foods. However, you have to read the labels. Right. Yeah, you and do. then they also carry egg life. Mm hmm. Rickwood said, I love shopping at Costco. I can wander through the aisles and plan on ordering the new oven and cooktop and dishwasher for them. We'll get a good discount. Nice. Right. I know another place that does that for you, too. Just saying. <laughs> uh, do you need to show them? <laughs> I wonder who it would be. <laughs> oh, it just says online. Yeah. Never mind. No, it says it on top. Oh, okay. See it? Oh, okay. Anybody else see that? Now get it. It's covering your face. All of a sudden, the scenery looks better. Shauna said, I'm thinking the dogs aren't within earshot as much as you've said, Sam's. I expect to see you. Are, did they ever go outside? Oh, so they just licked the plates? Yeah. That's all they wanted. Seriously, that's all they wanted. Obviously, because now I think they're just passed out on the couch. Because you know what it is? 
they have us trained. Oh, oh yeah. That's exactly what it is. But no, uh, he's uh, Sam is scared of the lights. Yeah. So too. he doesn't like coming in here. And in fact, like whenever we're done, y'all, and he, I know he needs to go out. I have to turn the light out and stand in front of the big light to play guard to so that he can then walk by because otherwise he's like, ah, oh, that alien's gonna get me. It does look like that one alien from our Stranger Things, right? The way it opens up, right? It does. Patty said, "Teton sausages were at my Aldi the other day." Oh, okay. I will look tomorrow. Yes, and we found them also at. Look. Um, Twenty two key cat. Uh, she was like at Aldi, right? I'm shocked. We've also found it at a Sprouts before, haven't we? That's yes. Where we found the links, yes. the breakfast links. Before. Yeah. Well, that's no, Peterson's. Oh, it was okay. Never mind. I got them. Melissa K said, "If I check myself out, none of my produce is organic." <laughs> oh, Melissa, See, you are that's awesome. That's you use the uh, the what do they call it? The uh, the employee discount. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's good. And Renee said, all of a sudden forget about that one thing under the bottom of the carton, right? <laughs> <laughs> Renee said, I searched but couldn't find. I'm also type in dreadmill. Oh, okay. Oh, she, don't worry. Uh, Shauna got it. She said, HH and Keto Chow barbecue sauce. Thank you, Shauna. Uh, good night, Carrie. Said I'm going soon out the door to work. See everyone later. See you, good, night. good night. See you. Renee said, when I get my bulk chipotle powder at HEB, only it reeks up as paprika. <laughs> huh, how did that happen? <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, Rick would said, Heath, the countertops will come from there, but it takes a lot of time to get delivery from from them for some reason was it the countertops are coming from your company oh yeah but yeah. it takes a long time for delivery <sighs> i don't know why <laughs> the supplier there's your answer right you're like huh why huh he can you speed it along and he's no like, i can't i don't have any uh, strokes for that kind of stuff <laughs> oh wow Oh, you're welcome, Tweety Q Cat. And Renee said, I'm excited for the new huge Target to open near me. Oh, Ooh, wow. schmancy. Now, I want to know, because I've, I've heard other channels talk about this. Are you a Target girl? Do you enjoy just going to Target, like, with nothing in mind? You're just going there just to browse and, and, and chill out at Target? I'm curious because apparently I, I didn't know that this was a thing. I don't like shopping that way anywhere. So <laughs> right, go in, and get get in, and get out. I do think you enjoy grocery shopping. Sometimes you get like okay. freaking excited. The only time I really like doing it because my thing to do is the first thing I want to get there is go look at all the discount meats. I, that's that's my thing. I you like it because the last time we went to. Uh, Kroger together. Mm -hmm. You were like a kid in a candy store. And I, I know Renee sales. and y'all that have been with us probably cannot even imagine. <sighs> but you were just like, ooh, ooh, that's worked out. Ooh, that's worked out. That's worked out. Uh -huh. You just love pointing out everything that is marked down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I like better? Buying it. <laughs> I'm like, well, those are apples, dear. <laughs> yeah, I still like them. You know what would be really good with that? Some uh, pecan butter. <laughs> uh, oh, was that you? Oh, my gosh. Renee said, there's your professional response from an HD employee. <laughs> this is not a sponsored video. No, it's not. Shana said, nope, I ordered Target on the app and pick up in the drive up. But uh, who was it that was telling me that they said the Target pickup is like so efficient. Is oh. that has that been your experience? I've never done it. So I don't know honestly. I've never used it. Yeah, cars. somebody said that they that it's just like the, honestly the only one, one of the ever, best pickup type deals. I think the only ones we ever really use is the Sam's because all the ones charge too much for it. 
Right. I know I'm so picky. I'm and like, that's oh, all it's on because like when we use like Aldi, we try and put everything in the app, all the prices are uh jacked up and you know, inflated because of that price that added on it. Yeah, yeah, that's my thing. I don't She's like, like that. What we'll do but is- you don't get this. What I found out from Clark Howard Show, I listen to him every day. Walmart. This if for those of you that shop at Walmart. The online price is sometimes different than the in-store price. That they yeah. are actually, no, yeah. no, you're wrong. They actually mark it up higher in-store really? because they want more people to use the online the online app or the curbside. Really? Yes. And it's they said, so when in you're there. in Walmart, check, it. check if there's something you're going to buy, check the app. And if it's cheaper, then he, he said that he's gone in before and he saw the app. It was like $5 cheaper. So he ordered it through the app and it was like, I'll just pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> but another thing we've noticed before at HEB, though, we have both been logged in to the same location. We get two different prices. Yeah, in the app. But but HEB has never been one to be like, oh, well, that's what the app says. Yeah, they right. don't. But Walmart. They yeah. They yeah. Buy. Yeah. They, well, what you do is you just order it on the app. Mm-hmm. Wow. So those that shop at Walmart, try that. Let us know if this is true. Uh, Patty said, I've never seen the attraction to Target. Me either. Um, Although that little uh, converter thing I got for the car to uh, charge, you know, plug in the sewer lighter, charge or um, run power off of, you know, I got that at Target. And okay. the um, the the travel, um, inst- I mean, uh, Crockpot, I got it at oh. Both of them the same day. Oh, Ooh, wow. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh. How long? Um, I, I have been known to go to Target and just browse around. Here's the problem. <laughs> is that I spend money on things I really don't need, right? So I think if I was like very rich and i was like oh what do i want to do for the next few hours and i didn't care to blow you know a couple hundred dollars i i don't even see that being me when i am rich i'm not gonna act like that but it that's what i feel like when i go to target i feel like when i do that and i just browse right it's like oh let's just go and browse around right because i enjoy looking and you know it has a good store layout most of the time and then you just browse and then you're like, oh, well, maybe I do need these cute, adorable pajamas that are a skeleton. You know, obviously I need that. And then you keep looking and you're like, oh, well, you know, I, w- I probably should get a new candle, right? And I feel like when I'm at Target, I don't even feel like price matching, right? I'm just like, well, yeah, this seems like a good price. <laughs> so I would say... I avoid Target because I know I will just spend money. Because I do like their the little um what do they call it dollar haven, especially around Halloween time, you can find some good stuff. Um, but I do like uh, now. Rickwood said, I'm not a Target babe. I used to love to shop Walmart when they were first starting in small. Nowadays you need a GPS to get around their stores, so I don't go. <laughs> yeah, some of them are big, aren't they? Oh, that feels good. Renee said, going to Target to browse for the dollar aisle at the entry, for the cool, cheap T-shirts, for the coffees, for the shoes, for the, yes, I love Target, but don't go often because it corpus up, oh, but then you're going to get one by you. So there we go. And for the Halloween decor, I have to say, that's usually what I end up going. Honestly, that's what I end up going to any store <laughs> is around Halloween because otherwise I, I'm just not a, a store shopper, but Halloween, I feel like I have to be there in person. Oh, you know what else we said we we're going to cook tonight? We, we didn't do it though. Huh? We we're going to make the microwave cookies. Yeah. Well, Anybody well, see the microwave well, cookie that's been going? I, I saw a real a microwave cookie. Anybody else see that? We tried it last night. 
to you, I mean. No, I don't care. It was, it was all orange. Yeah, it was like, okay, it was kind of a cookie. Uh, L Strange said, I love any store browsing. Target does have good clearance and curbside. Oh, I forget about their clearance. Good girl. Good girl. Sam, do you want to go out? Sammy, come here, buddy. Nope, I'm on my couch. Hmm? Shauna said, yes. In fact, my air and I had to run right before the line was pick up at Target. They're in back in less than half an hour. Wow. Way to go. Patty said, Walmart was so much better back in the old days. Now, pass. If I don't have to go, I don't. Well, I used to be a, an avid Walmart shopper, though, because my first apartment was like two or three blocks away. Oh. From the Walmart, so I could walk over there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, anyhow, uh, Renee said, and I've been to one Target Plus, and that was amazing. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I guess I, I didn't even know there were Target Pluses. That's how often we go to Target. Well, like I was saying, mostly it's Halloween is when right. I go to any store, though. Right. I just... Because usually when we think of stuff like that, we go to buy groceries, and their groceries are just so outrageous prices. Right. Yeah. But she was saying, like, the coffee. Oh, I, okay. And I have seen, like, different keto stuff at Target. Okay. okay. Or Target's. How do y'all pronounce it? Target or Target? I used to go there a lot. I think that's when I bought that stuff, when I was working the cabinet job, because I would also... Use a bathroom because they were always clean. Right. They I was in there usually, and I was more walking around. Yeah. Well, we did. We would shop there some because you remember uh, that's those cereals you wanted that oh, one I, time. That's okay. where we found them. Yeah. And I guess just like if it was we a one off some thing, stuff. Though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, L Strange like, said, I'm exclusively curbside at Walmart. My Walmart's on the rough side of town. And um, the only time I ever go to Walmart really. The one up here by the road, by you know, by the uh, past the subdivision out here, is with that one um, Pace Bacani soft that Renee oh, told us about. Oh yeah, I was able to find it there. There's a little Walmart marketplace, uh -huh. and that's where he goes to get that. But you do curbside for that too, didn't you? No, I went in. Oh, and you went in. Yeah, oh. I've never done curbside <laughs> at that one. Oh, okay. And then we have another Walmart just right up the like way, a big but. One. Yeah, that's a big one, but mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I went in there. I can't either. Because I really don't like going to Walmart. Right. And I don't feel like, but again, I don't feel like we really go shopping mm -hmm. to stores anymore. No. Do you? No, not at all. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, Is for clothes, we're always doing online. <laughs> yeah, I feel like most of the shopping we do, we just do online. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to think of what else we would do a store, like, actually go to a store to shop can't remember honestly not a grocery store you know any other store like a department store or something like that yeah yeah or or oh, yeah. another one the hardware store i would yeah 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 stuff, I, I, yeah yeah i guess that would be the store we've got to the uh, most is like a do it orange, yourself store yeah, the orange palace that's right um Shauna said, I only go to Walmart when I'm out of town. The Walmart where I go for craft retreats is way better. Oh, oh that's okay. neat. Toy TQ Cat said, I absolutely agree about Walmart. I'd rather do anything than go in Walmart, and I just avoid it. Going in there seems to stress me out. Too right. much going on in strange people. <laughs> that's why they have the whole thing of the people of Walmart. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it always just... Uh, yeah, but see, I, I just love don't. Sam's though, so it's just weird. Well, I um, yeah, I just don't really go. Uh, mm -mm. And you know, why but, is it though when I go into a Target, it just seems so much calmer, right? In there, because I know it's always like Target versus Walmart, and it's like, well, I just feel like Bloods and Crips. <laughs> no, I feel like a Target just. It never seems like loud and congested, or at least the last time. No, not in this area, anyways. Right. Well, maybe it's partly why too, though, because like the Walmart up here is right on the on forty five, right on the main thoroughfare. But the Target's Target. just right across. 
Mm, up one that's exit. True, that's true. That's true. I don't know then. Renee said, I do work in Corpus, but it's literally just over the bridge entering Corpus Christi. Other stores are about a 20, 25 minute drive further into the crazy bad drivers on the freeway. Oh. Right? El Strange said, Target does have good Halloween. I placed an online order that was shipped. They said it arrived and it had not. I immediately complained and they refunded me. Two hours later, I got the goods. Oh, wow. Nice. That's how you do it, right, Lisa? So we have some of the horde, you know, does it if they have to self check out, it's not organic. Uh -huh. Some of them. Get the company Paprika. That's what I said, the company discount. <laughs> and, and now we have some that I didn't get it. <laughs> I see a theme growing here. Renee said, I've seen more reviews of folks saying Home Goods is a great Halloween stop and they start stocking it way early on my list this year. Oh, okay. Well, it, did you know, um, actually, uh, so I'm in a Halloween group, the one that Jade, her Halloween group, and they were already pre-releasing pictures of the Nevermore collection for Michaels. OMG, Renee, the Nevermore for Michaels. I was, if you're not in that group, I, I mean, go go join the group. If you are, go send find that invite, post. But case. Well, I can send you the invite. But I am, like, stoked for some of the Michaels stuff. So people are reading. And I forget who they That's said. To to go to eat. Huh? Nothing. I love you. No, what did you say? I said, this is why we can't afford to go out to eat. We're saving for Halloween. We are saving for Halloween. But I, I tried to think if they were saying it was Joanne's or who was going to start releasing some next week. I had to go check again in that group. But they people are already buzzing. They're already putting out. And as people find stuff in their area, they'll be posting pictures. So if you really want like all of the newest Halloween stuff, you got to join that group. And if you're not in the group, then I'll I'll send you an invite. Just let me know. Rickwood said most of my shopping nowadays is Aldi, Costco, and Ollie's. <laughs> yeah, now I've never been to an Ollie's, but yeah, most of ours is just grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like when I go to the farmer's market, I feel like, ooh, I'm so fancy. Look mm -hmm. at me out at the farmer's market. Right. Like I'm really outside of my comfort zone. Right. But, uh, yeah, so that's how I feel. I, I guess I just never feel like I really need anything. Wrong. Until Halloween hits here. All right. Oh, really? Oh. Renee said, Ollie's makes my OCD into overdrive. It's like a Ross with stuff scattered so randomly wow. everywhere. That would it's, not sound fun. Yeah, see, that's why I don't really care for Ross because mm -hmm. I feel like it's just so Hodgepodge. discombobulated. It just bothers me. But if Ollie's is like that, oh, gosh. Okay, maybe I don't want an Ollie's then. Lisa said, oh, yeah, there's a Target Plus out by my dad. It's really cool, but the meat select is weird. Well, see, I always feel like, and I felt this for a long time, that the Target, their whole grocery section, I'm really not it's impressed almost, with. It's almost like an afterthought. I'm like, oh, yeah, we have to have this. Yeah, well, it, which is weird because they didn't do ways. I know. And then they started introducing it, and I went there, it. and I was like, well, usually the produce nothing wows me about their produce and i find their meat is overpriced mm -hmm. like where i would look at it, i was like why am i paying this much because we would sometimes do grocery shopping there we would always try yeah um renee said the one i went to was in san antonio oh uh sh oh the ollies shauna said the sh Strange people at my local Walmart starts in the parking lot. Well, yes. They have to get in the store somehow. <laughs> right. right. Well, you should, Renee's got good stories about the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that that was at Walmart. Well, how, why should I have, right? Yeah. Oh, um, right, showtime. Renee said, I keep most prescriptions at Walmart because they are cheapest, especially for Jolly's meds through GoodRx. Well, that okay. makes sense. 
And she said, well, Rockport's Wally World was my cut. I was like, she said, <laughs> the what? was her cut incident. Right. Shana said, Target only is loud and congested when they are selling overpriced daily mugs. Now we what? So a while back, Stanley mugs are like oh, these, Stanley mug. but there was a pink one that they did exclusive only through Target, only with in conjunction with Stanley, and they were selling them, and people were going freaking That's... mad over it. I never even got it till everybody started talking about it, and no. I was like, "I no." The first when I first started talking about, it, I thought they were talking about the Stanley Cup. But I, was <laughs> talking, I was like, "Wait, what?" Seriously, I thought that 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 thing, Stanley Cup. I was like, "What are you talking about?" Oh. I was like, "We don't watch the news." <laughs> It is such a bad thing to say. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right. Lisa said, bah, ha, ha, blood versus Crips. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, TQ Cat said, I wish TMU had a regular store we could go to. <laughs> Would be nice to see some of this stuff before buying, but being online is only why they're so cheap. That's right. right. Yeah, because I'm sure some of the stuff they sell... If you had it in person, it'd be like, oh, no, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> Renee said, yeah, I'm not a Stanley chick. I still have my good old Yetis. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll send you the link, Renee. I'll do it whenever, you know, we get done with our showers. Uh, going mobile, Shauna says. Renee said, I need a raven for the house. Yes. Oh. And I'm telling you. The stuff that I was seeing, oh my gosh, I was really excited, really excited. Oh, and this is your Facebook, so you're not in it. Huh? I was like going to pull up on my phone, but then I remembered I'm on your Facebook. Rankwood says Ho Hobby Lobby supposedly has good Halloween stuff. Was looking at the ads last year. Oh, okay. I don't ever uh, look there either. Good girl. Okay, let's see. Halloween. Halloween forever. Hobby Lobby? Oh, yeah. Private group. No, no, no. I'm, I'm inviting her name right now. Oh. Start clearing some of this stuff. Yeah, about time. About time, huh? Oh, I can't. It's not letting me search for you, Renee. Oh, Where wait a know? second. Oh, there it is. That's so weird. I type your name, like R E N, and it won't show, but I put R and it shows. Okay, I sent you an invite. But they had. Okay, here. What? Uh, what and see the collection. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, here it is. The Nevermore line today. Here are some close ups. I was torn on the bubblegum girl. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. But the bubblegum girl, I'm really into. It is so cute, y'all. Let me see is if he dope? can show that up, up close there. I'll make out what that is because I can't. Yeah. So I think it's like a lamp. And then uh, they have some perfume bottles that inside the bottle you can see a skull. I thought that was cute. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. There's a sign I think is for you too. And oh, yeah, our calm. I was trying to think what else there was. I feel like there was something else. Oh, well, I'll look later. Okay. Um, Renee said, Hobby Lobby seems like they've raised prices and they like to fool you with those 50 off coupons. I'll go there for phrase, but not much else. Yeah, I don't remember last time I even went to Hobby Lobby. I just never cared for it. My mom loved it, and I just was like, eh. It's probably why you don't like it. Probably. 
El Strange said, I got a Stanley for Christmas. The only reason why I have one, I think they're too hyped. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I love this one that my wonderful Elfster got me. Like, I look for more at the design of a bottle than the name. Like, the I don't. Functionality. Yeah, well, no, I mean, it, it, it's not really. Well, the function, yeah, but also I want the, the design that I want. So I don't care who makes it if I just like a design. Right. Oh, Lisa said Hobby Lobby doesn't do scary Halloween. Mm -mm. Well, that makes sense for their demographic. Yeah, right. And Lisa and uh, Renee said, "Agree, Lisa." Right. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> this is our call. Twenty two Q Cat. She said she got a Stanley for Christmas too. We're so cool now, Lisa. Ha ha ha. Right. Mm -hmm. Carry that that Stanley around. Be like, look at me. I've got a Stanley. Renee said, I've been to three different Ollie's and they all seemed off, but I did find a few things. Just need to make sure I'm not stressed at all to go. Wow. Uh, oh, good night, Patty. Good night. She said, the bed is calling my name. Wow, night all. Oh, she said the Target Plus was in San Antonio. Okay. We were just there. I know. Bad Apple said, smash that thumbs up. Thank yes, you. please do so, y'all. We appreciate you. And if you're new here and you've been listening, hit that subscribe button. You can join the chat and say hello and then join us on our other lives. We'd love that. And you join, become a member. We'll even do a monthly cook along. I'm really excited for that uh, recipe this month. Don't we need to do one more uh, test batch? Next Saturday, it. we will. <laughs> oh, Brenda F said, I buy fabric at Hobby Lobby 40% off normally. Oh, okay. oh, wow. I didn't know they had fabric. So that's, yeah, if you can get a good savings. Now, I heard Joanne's that their fabric's cheap too. I don't know. What do you do with it, Brenda? What do you get the fabric for? You're full. That was a big old dinner. I think it was the coleslaw that did me in. <laughs> it was the coleslaw. Oh, probably that little bit of coleslaw uh -huh. just like blew up. It was like cabbage, cauliflower, mushrooms, onions, asparagus. Is this a vegan? <laughs> With a hint of meat. Right. Well, you had the bacon and the patty. Yeah. Bacon. On the asparagus? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the asparagus. What are you doing with your hands? Trying to stay awake. <laughs> By covering your face? Just pitching. Oh, how neat. Brenda quilts. Oh, wow. I love quilts. Yes. That is so nice. Is how awesome. fun. You should share sometimes yeah. some of your Quilting creations. creations in the Facebook group. I'd love to see yeah. it. Do you take orders? <laughs> I yes, I enjoy a quilt. So I have my great grandmother's quilt and on by a thread, but it's still there. I should probably go through and and just it, it what happened is the um trim, the border has come off completely. So I probably should just do something to fix that but i mean it's like a hundred years old so and then um heat's aunt is a giant quilt. made us a giant king quilt for our bed yeah. so it's now i feel and she did it two-sided yeah and then now i feel bad you know to like change out the quilt because that really is a winter quilt because yeah, it's yeah. so heavy yeah but i want to change it out and put the summer quilt one on Getting that time right, and speaking of, you should have turned the AC down when I you went to the restroom. I will again. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. No, no, you you're right. Because right. you already turned on the bed, and, uh, really yeah. Right. I turned on the beds earlier. Uh, Shauna said, Okay, back at the chat. Hey, Shauna. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, Oh, what was going on there? But, um, yeah, so definitely planning to do some uh, 
Halloween shopping this year, but I feel like I have to decide what I really need for the house. Because I feel and like where we're gonna put it. Well, that would be a need. And I'm like, so what do we need for the house? Nothing. I know. We need to save the money so we can travel. I, I, my ear oh my hear. gosh no i my ears are getting so stuffed up i like can't even hear right now are you, you speaking yell into your ear can you hear me now huh exactly oh what i always <laughs> say your phone's breaking up <laughs> uh -huh. but mine makes more sense what just turn turn it off what yeah, Lisa said, yes, show us your quilts. I love it. Brenda yeah. said, I'd love to share pics. Show me yours. I'll show you mine. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, definitely. That'd be fun. Start a thread. Show us what you make. And then we, we'll post pictures of our uh, quilt that his uh, aunt made us. Yeah. Lisa said, I stopped using a blanket already. Also taking cool showers. My coconut oil is almost liquid. Oh, wow. Lisa, what are you keeping your house on? Wow, our house, I've, I've only, so we turn it up in the morning to 76. Mm -hmm. And has it yet during the day reached 76 in the house? No. It's usually at 74. Mm -hmm. That's the highest I've ever seen it. So even so, I guess it's technically not coming on during the day. And then at night, usually when I get off work, I'll like if it's on 74, I'll just turn it to 74 mm -hmm. to make sure that if it does get warmer, then it kicks on. And then like uh, about eight o'clock, we turn it down to 72. And then when we finally go to bed, usually close to 10, then I turn it to 70. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been doing so far. So I think the insulation's helping. Yes, it really is. <sighs> 22Q Cat said, Meanwhile, in Indiana, I'm still using an electric blanket at night. Wow. I don't think we own one anymore. Oh my goodness. Remember? I think we got rid of it. Did we? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Lynn. Wow. Renee said, He, you need cheese. Shelly needs Halloween decor. Yep, I said it. Well, come here and show us. <laughs> See? Yeah. You need a cheese and you got cheese. I need my Halloween. Okay. Again, where are we going to put it? What did you say when we got married? I love you. And then before that. Yes, dear. And he said, happy. Halloween. <laughs> life. Happy life. But I thought it was happy spouse, happy house. I'm the spouse. So am I. Who? You're exactly. the husband. <laughs> husband don't ride with don't that. don't count. I understand. <laughs> Shauna said, I'll be starting a few Halloween thingies much earlier than last year. I wonder why. <laughs> right, Shauna? You're like, these dang Halloween weirdos. Mm -hmm. Brenda said, awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, oh, wow. Rickwood has quilts from her great grandmother wow, and awesome. grandmother that's wow awesome. and a great aunt how nice like the only heirloom i have for my grandparents is the dresser my uh, grandfather built me that's the ones in our uh in our uh, closet right now oh wow um lisa said 77 is what she keeps it on she's sitting back on a trip in 2020 in 26 to japan wow can i go so too? try to save money I hey i get that That's yes awesome. lisa save that money how fun There's so many things in japan i want to go visit also. oh that's gonna be so much fun the only thing i'm worried about honestly about going i keep hearing all these horror stories when the wrestlers go about how the accommodations like the hotel stuff are so much smaller there they are small so so i've seen about. they said like the smallest apartment there and it's like 50 square foot wow it's something bare, crazy it <laughs> right wow. but um yeah so a heat is scared oh yeah it's max is getting so tall yeah. and by 26 he'll right. probably be almost tall as he if right. not taller right so is that a concern too for him or is that the case is it maybe where they're putting the wrestlers they're just giving them cheap uh -huh. crap i don't know 
Oh, good night, Joe. Good night, she good said, night. it's time for me to head for bed. It's almost time. Uh, for lots to do tomorrow. Everyone have a great weekend. See you Sunday. Uh, Renee said, Shelly will find a place to put it. Like you decorate or move that stuff around anyway, sir. <laughs> right. Like I'll change up some of my coffee stuff yeah, going where on. Where are you going to put all that? Wherever I move things around. It just, I'll find it. Well, we Julie in the room. pines. Hey, Julie. She said, I just got off work and sat down with dinner. I missed the cooking. Uh -huh. Oh, well, what are you having for dinner? What were you going to say? We do have that front room. We don't really use for that. It would just be a giant storage area. <laughs> I know it's not a storage display. That's where we display our collection. <laughs> oh, it is? We'll do it like a shrine. Almost. And you don't want anything new for outside? Like a, a 12 foot yes and no. skeleton yes and no. zombie. Because oh. it's going to be fun to put up and fun to take back down. Right. Because you know the HOA is going to make us take it back down. I'd love to leave it up year round. Yeah. Because my thing with that is we just leave it up and we just decorate it for every season. Shauna said, I just got rid of two bakers boxes of china from cypher grandparents i kept two pieces what do i need with nine to twelve settings of china right yeah wow well it, it that's what i hear too a lot with like you know on etsy on all of the vintage stuff is there's so much vintage nowadays because a lot of people Downside. especially like us like gen xers we're getting stuff from our parents and grandparents and we're like, but we don't want it. Right. And there's just a or lot of stuff. In there. Needed. Yeah. And a lot of people just aren't really wanting to buy that a whole, lot of it. The whole um, genre is dying off. Well, and I think it's just a mindset change uh -huh. because, you know, think back a lot of our grand, or I would even say my parents had this, how many people, and your family, like your parents, grandparents, so forth, had special china that you only used maybe once or twice a year. That was it. Only on a special occasion. Only when Aunt Biv was coming for you have dinner. You a whole cabinet full of it. And nobody's allowed to use them, remember? Right. Yeah, you're right. And then um, I was listening to somebody and they were saying, and I thought, yeah, this is right. That it's like, well, I'm alive. That's a special occasion. Yes. So more people nowadays, oh, everyday use. they're using the special china or the whatever nice thing you got. They're using it now. They're like, because that was the point. I bought it because I liked it. Yeah. I want to use it. And that's kind of how I've done. I have a few, you know, plates and stuff I really like. And I'm like, I don't want them to just sit in a cupboard to get dusty. Like, I want to use them. Mm -hmm. So what what do y'all think about that? Um, more and more people are uh, downsizing nowadays, too. Yeah. And Sean said, I never met them. Oh. Uh -huh. Good night, Joe. Tonight. Lee said, no, they are staying at regular hotels. I do want to see a pic of him in a crowd. Right? He'd be towering at So party. at regular hotels. Yeah. So yeah. whoever they're um the wrestling they, people are picking you know, they or have, they're well, because like I know a couple of them, they actually did it as a uh, as a challenge to see how cheap they could stay. Oh uh, well, see that makes yeah. sense. But they were doing that here locally too, though. Well, yeah. Stakes. well, yeah. They had like the bets between themselves that who could save the most money. Wow. Lee said he's going to Korea for a few days, wow. then Japan. Wow. wow. That's how amazing. fun. Is, going, is it a school trip or something? I'll just, yeah. I'll just yeah. Is, he, is it with the school or is it with the uh, organization? Oh, yeah. With, yeah. With, with the, um, well, your, your, your grandfather, <laughs> wasn't it? No. Dad. Uh, yeah, dad. her dad, yeah, his yeah. grandfather. Yeah. Or, but you're also in a community, right? right? Uh, Julie in the Pines said, I'm having brats with sugar free honey mustard. Ooh, that sounds Ooh, good. That sounds good. Really good. Uh, Do you have any cabbage oil? Yeah, okay. half a head. Okay. Uh, Renee said, Ooh, that's a good idea. Laugh out loud. A 12 foot uh, Home Depot skeleton for the Sam's membership. Laugh my butt off. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> we should do this tomorrow. Get some sausage. And the, the big thing of sausage link you got last time. Oh, okay. We can just chop it up and have it with the cabbage. You just do like a, a stir fry. Oh, it. have that tomorrow night. So we're not going out to eat then. Right, we're right. having. Unless you found a place you want to go eat. I don't know. Because no, that's what I'm saying. That's what we were talking about before. When we go out to eat, the only places that sound good to me are highfalutin, like expensive places. Because mm -hmm. the other places that are moderately expensive don't do anything for me. And we're, we leave kind of sad about it. Eh. Right. Um, uh, would that be hilarious? Do you think you don't? But he doesn't get any special treatment when it comes to ordering anything from his from HD. You don't get no. anything. You don't even I'm, get privy to it early, do you? No. Well, the only thing they do, I send me an email every once in a while. There's a perks at work kind of thing, and it's a little discounts when we go to the movies. Well, yeah, no, yeah. she's saying like, like for I the buy skeleton. Every, yeah, no, I don't get any special deals on it. Because their thing is they already have the prices cheap enough so we don't get company uh, discount, employee discounts. Lisa said, I'll dig out my quilts and post them. My grandmother made one for all of us. That's oh, awesome. how sweet. Oh, I'm excited to see this. That's awesome. Shada said, my dinner, one cold hot dog, two slices of white HB cheese from Lisa, pork rinds, and maybe a yogurt. No cooking tonight. That's awesome. Nice. That's how you do it, right? Oh, she said it's a school trip. Oh, oh how fun. Well, that's very cool. What uh, is he in now? I don't remember. What is he? A freshman? Yeah, is that the word? <laughs> Lisa said, it's like a chocolate Texas pecan. It's only ground, though, but I uh, thought about you. Oh, what is it? Oh. Oh, the DFW. So oh. what did what did you think of it? And it was chocolatey yummy, Lisa oh, said. Okay. And Shauna said, I don't mind. It's only ground. Life I use it for my nights. I forget to grab my beads and it's 11.30 p.m. Oh, right. Uh, Renee said, well, folks can't even get their hands on those skeletons. Not talking about discount. Just say if you can snag one. Right? That's true. They because they you know what My happens, commodity. Renee, is they post in that Halloween group. Yes. And everybody runs to Home Depot to try to get that skeleton. And then they'll knock you over. You gotta go with your boxing gloves it's on. Like, like going Christmas shopping. Oh, Lee said he's in the seventh grade. Oh, oh wow. Man. Brenda said, oh, my goodness, a horde quilt show. I know. I'm excited for this. Please post. I can't wait to see. Do you know what I mean? Right? Well, because, you know, we need to do this anyways because Aunt Vicky asked us to do that anyways. We take our picture. She wants a picture of us holding it up. I know. So we post in the group and send it to her. It'll, it'll be, yeah, because uh, I have pictures of the quilt, just not with us holding you the quilt. You know, that's what she requested, though. I know. Sweetie Q Cat said, because she can make food that's 10 times better than those restaurants, no wonder eating out doesn't sound that great. Save your money, mm -hmm. right? Lee said, he's just a baby. I know. Are he is. Him overseas? Renee said, audience? Shelly, did you like that coffee? I, okay. So I've been having the coffee you said every day, right? Mm -hmm. Ever it, since you requested it. It smells really good. But I, I guess I was thinking more of a pecan flavor, and it really doesn't have a stronger pecan. I think it's like Lisa said, it's more chocolatey note, like a chocolate caramel type note. Okay. But I'm not getting a lot of nuttiness. And I think I was, in my mind, I was expecting like a Texas pecan with the caramel chocolate. And I think it's more of a caramel chocolate with the nutty. That's I like it though. I do like it. So thank you for recommending it. I think Cafe Olay brand, they make good coffee. Like I've enjoyed it every day. It's just I don't get the pecan coming through. That's my only thing. Um, but I do enjoy it. Um Shada said, a very tall baby. I know. Renee said, well, who better to know when they're getting there? Just some sort of connection of, or advantage to be able to get my hands on one. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely. Yeah, as soon as I know, I will tell you, Renee. 
Renee said, I got more chocolate out. Oh, well, see? So, yeah. So, I guess we're all on the straight, on the same page. We got more of that chocolate note than anything else. So, maybe they just kind of, it said a nutty at the end. So, maybe all they did was like, oh, here's a nut. Oh, and that boy. was it. Yeah, it was like, uh, Shauna said, I was driving someplace, saw one of those 15 foot, 12 foot skeletons holding a giant Easter egg wearing bunny ears. That's what I'm saying. That is hilarious. And see, at Christmas, you just put a Santa hat on it. You right? The, the lights. But what I am searching for, and I guess what I was going to say to uh, Renee, is it wasn't like Stevie Blue's Texas Pecan. And that's what I was expecting was more of that. So I want to know, since I know several of y'all or in here love a good coffee what is the best the best texas pecan or southern pecan coffee brand like where you really taste it and you feel like you're tasting the pecans like that real good southern pecan flavor who do you think makes the best one does district roasters make one do you know no not a pecan right. um and then Renee said, there's another brand, Tejas, Ca Tejas Cafe, that has a Mexican chocolate flavor, but it was out and only $4.98 a bag. Wow, that's cheap. That's probably why they were out. Right? Shada said, sure, I'm glad Napa doesn't make a flavored coffee. Not sure I appreciate a wine flavored coffee. <laughs> wow. That would be different. That would be. So you need to start something. <laughs> Lisa said the smell was amazing. Yeah, the smell was really good, but the yeah the taste it the taste didn't match. Like it wasn't as strong as like the smell to me. Shauna said the one you sent me smelled so good. <laughs> Lisa said laugh aloud. Grace the nut on by right. <laughs> And Renee said, oh, that Texas pecan is the shiz. I got the Tejas uh, Cafe Dolce de Leche to try. Ooh. I know. I was looking at several bags there because I was like, ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. But I was like, well, I already felt like I'd spent a lot that day. What was this at? At uh, H-E-B. Oh, yeah. So maybe tomorrow I'll grab another one. I've had the Lola's. I don't know if you get it at your HEB because it's a Houston roaster. And I've had their pecan before that I thought was real good for what I get my hands on here, right? Sorry, okay. Well, heat is fading. So the I guess. It done went off, remember? It done went off, y'all. I'm telling you. It done. It done went off. And I know the dogs need to go out again. And remember, he won't come in here until we start taking everything. Down. I know, I know. Um, yeah, Lo so I care. think Lola's is just in, um, I guess, the Houston area ones. Because uh, that's the only place, I, I guess, because it's a Houston roaster. But they make a, a, and I've seen it at Sub Kroger's as well. But they make a pretty good. I don't remember if it's Texas pecan or Southern pecan, but I got the bag. It's pricey though. I think it was like nine ninety eight a bag. Ouch. Yeah. Um. And then they had some other one at the H E B I went to. I'd never heard of them before, but they uh, it it, it was like fifteen dollars a bag, but they had some flavors that sounded really neat. So I don't know. And it was all like fair trade and all that stuff on there. Renee said, it done went off and you really worked at the what a burger, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. All right. Good night. Oh, it's so hard to say good night. We always have to do the selling goodbye. Right. But thank you all so much for coming tonight. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed yeah. it. That was such a good dinner, y'all. I remember one of y'all are the ones that requested that, and I can't remember who it is, but thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, whoever. I mean, it was really good. Yes. I love a good smothered steak, and yeah. that was just easy, and it just and I love so the warm and comforting. Too. Huh? I love the history lesson, too. Right. I know. That's, that's what we're here for. Right. 
class with Shelly, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Good night, good night, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. See you good on night. Sunday around 1230 Central Time for his MS Journey update. Yes. All right. Love you. Good Bye. Night.